Shalom and welcome. The title of today's class, Satan's Origin and Final Destination. Satan's Origin and Final Destination. Who is Satan? Where did he originate it from? Where did he come from? Where was he created from? Who is he? And where is his final destiny? We open up with 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 17. I read 1 Corinthians 1 and 17 through 29. For Mashiach sent me not to baptize, but to preach the gospel. Paul said, Yahushua Mashiach ordained him and sent him not to dip anybody in a pool of water or sprinkle holy water on anybody and tell them they see it. Now you see it. He said, no, Yahushua never sent me to dip in water. But to what? Preach the gospel. The baptism he's talking about is what? Preaching the gospel or the word of God or the laws of God. Repent and believe the gospel. In Mark chapter 1, Mark chapter 1 and verse 15. Mark chapter 1 and verse 14. Now after that John was put in prison, Yahushua came into Galilee, preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God, and saying, The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent ye and believe the gospel. Do what? Believe or take heed to the commandments, according to Surah 32.24. To believe means what? He that believeth, take it heed to the commandments of God. Surah 32.24. So to what? To believe means you will take heed to the commandments of God. So what was Yahushua teaching? The commandments of God. What was his gospel? The commandments of God. So what did St. Paul to do? Teach the commandments of God. Go back to 1 Corinthians 1 and 17. For Mashiach sent me not to baptize, not to dip anybody in water, like John the Baptist was dipping in water, but John the Baptist was dipping in water, and they were confessing their sins. They went hand in hand. He dipped in the water as a symbolical, as a symbol, as a symbol of your, your, your transformation or your change, from sin into purity, and you have to confess and forsake your sin. From henceforth, do them no more. Pay attention. But they do what they do now. Sprinkle water, they pin a pool until they're saved. And you nail the law to the cross. No laws. The laws are done away with. He nailed it to the cross. Deception of Satan. He's been deceived with these false pagans and worship. Come out. Come out from among them and be separate. They said, they said the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing. And I will receive you. Come out of her, my people. Revelation 18 and 4. 2 Corinthians 6 17. Revelation 18 and 4. Come out of her. Pay attention, Babylon, Babylon the Great, the system, the beast system, come out from worshipping the beast, worshipping Satan. Pay attention. First Corinthians 1 and 17. For Mashiach sent me not to baptize, but to preach the gospel. To do what? Preach. Repent ye and believe the gospel, which is the laws and the commandments of God. Take and heed to the commandments. That's what was Yahushua sent me to do. Not to dip nobody in water and tell them just believe. Come and teach them what? Keep them laws, keep the commandments, keep the statutes, keep the ordinances, keep the precepts of the Most High God for your good. Pay attention. Not with wisdom of words. Not with what? Wisdom of words. What are they doing in these false pagan religions on the earth? Read a verse and then give their the, the own thoughts and meanings and spin and philosophize upon it. Pay attention. This one, um, the, um, the apostle mean this and the Lord mean that. And the, and the most I do this, and he nailed the cross, nailed the laws to the cross, and he blotted the ordinances that was contrary to us, nailing it to the cross. Pay attention. He blotted out the law, means you don't have to do no law. He fulfilled the law. Matthew 5 17. I keep, you always say what? Think not I come to destroy the law. I didn't come to what? Destroy God's laws. Pay attention. Don't even get in your thought, I came to destroy God's laws. I came not to destroy, he repeated, I never come to destroy God's laws, but to fulfill. He said that and the teacher. He fulfilled the laws. We don't have to do them. He said what? I never come to destroy them. I come to fulfill something that you speak of me. That they're going to nail me to a cross. They're going to pierce my hands. Pierce my feet. When we read Psalms 22 verse 16. Verse 13 through 16. 13 through 18. They pierce my arm. They pierce my feet. They're going to depart in my garments. It was prophesied in the book of Psalms. Pay attention. He came and what? Fulfilled it. Pay attention. Because I come and tell them. Repent. Believe the gospel. You are in the midst of sin. Animal sacrifice was willful sin, kill an animal to offset the penalty of that sin. Pay attention. So the children of Israel became willful sinners. Line up the animal, do the sin, carry the animal to the priest. Do the sin, carry the animal to the priest. So they become repetitive or willful sinners. So I was just say, done away with that. That's done. Don't do this. Repent and believe the gospel. Change what? Here. Be, be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Change the way you're thinking. No more sin. Stop the sin. Because you have no animal to sacrifice for that sin. So guess what? Your blood will be the sacrifice when everything is a God, the judge. Pay attention. You say, what? Change that your mindset or your concept to become complacent in your sin or comfortable in your iniquity as you come become, as our brothers and sisters or mothers have, have become what? Comfortable in these pagan institutions. He nailed it to the cross. Pay attention. 
dip in water and you feel you're more holy than everybody else. And a man coming out of the book of the Lord, a prophet of God coming out of the book of the Lord, out of the mouth of the Lord, and saying, Thus say the Lord, keep my commandments and live. And he's saying, No. He nailed it to the cross. But my pastor says, Pay attention. My minister says, Pay attention. The most I say, Believe the gospel, repent. Come back and keep them laws. Because your blood, you will pay with your blood at judgment. Pay attention. Mean that what? Your soul will be destroyed. Pay attention. The men of God are back. Pay attention in the last days. Pay attention. First Corinthians 1 and 17. For Mashiach sent me not to baptize. Paul said, Mashiach never sent me to dip nobody in water or sprinkle holy water in you and say you're saved. Pay attention. And you're not keeping God's laws. But to preach the gospel, repent and believe the gospel. Repent and believe the gospel, the laws and the statutes of the Most High God. Repent. Come back to them laws. Be a change in your in mind. Pay attention. Not with the wisdom of words. Not by what? Mesmerizing you or bamboozling you, bamboozling you with eloquent, eloquent words or highfalutin words. Pay attention as these modern pastors. Pay attention to these modern pagan pastors and these pagan institutions. They're mesmerizing the people with what? with high level or, or high, a high level of education or a high level of verbal mastery of the English language. Pay attention. And you'll be able to, whoa, he's so eloquent. Whoa, he's so smart. He's so brilliant. Pay attention. And you've been bamboozled by Satan. Pay attention. Because they're te teaching you, he nailed laws to the cross. Pay attention. What did Paul say? Mashiach instruction was, but to preach the gospel, repent, keep them laws, believe the laws, not with wisdom of, of words. Lest the cross of Mashiach should be made of non-effect. Lest he die on the cross, or your grace of faith be of non-effect. So if you don't keep the laws, your grace and faith is of non-effect. Pay attention. The original Satan, where he came from, pay attention. And what is his destination? Because some, somebody's teaching you another gospel. Pay attention. You need to, they're teaching you a gospel of death instead of a gospel of life. Because if you don't, Believe the gospel or the, the words or the laws and the statutes and commandments that we are teaching that's written in this Bible from beginning to end. You have what? The cross of Mashiach should be made of none effect. Your grace and faith is null and void. You are just believing and you're not doing nothing. That's why you say, show me your, your faith and I will show you my works, which is the law. Pay attention. That's what James was talking about. But that we say what? Faith without works is dead. James 2 and 18. Faith without works is dead. If you just believe, grace and faith, and you don't do the works or keep the laws, you're going to die. Pay attention. Lest the cross of Mashiach should be made of none effect. That was 1 Corinthians 1 and 17 saying, You have nullified the grace by believing he nailed the laws to the cross. You have nullified the grace by believing let no man judge me in meat or drink. Pay attention. Because these men have what? Enticed you with seducing words. Pay attention. The wisdom of men words. 1 Corinthians 1 and 18. For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness. The preaching of Mashiach dying on the cross for what the Lamb of God that take away the sin of the world to the men that are going to die, to the women that are going to die, to the children that's going, that's going, that are going to die. What foolishness is made? It's what foolishness to them. They will not possess it. They will sit down and be what? Bamboozled by these what? Satanic ministers, satanic prophets, satanic disciples teaching you he near the laws to the cross. You're under grace and faith. Just believe. Just believe. Pay attention. You understand who is Satan? Where did he come from? Who does he work for? Pay attention. For the preaching of the, the cross is to them that perish foolishness. Mashiach dying on the cross. You will never understand why he died. But unto us which are saved, it is the power of God. We will understand why Yahushua died on the cross. Why he became the lamb. He sacrificed himself as a blood sacrifice. Pay attention. He was the last blood sacrifice. He sacrificed. He said, okay, no more animals for sin. But now I'm making one big sacrifice of my body, pay attention, my blood, to but buy back the train of God, back to him, pay attention. So why are we under sin in here? we giving us time to get our mind right, pay attention. Or what, be, be transformed and renew our mind. Come back to them laws and understand what the book is talking about. And do them, or believe them, and do them, or take heed to them, pay attention. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise. It is what written, the most I say, I will destroy the wisdom of your eloquent, Pastors of your eloquent teachers of your eloquent ministers of your eloquent false prophets, false pagan prophets teaching you false pagan doctrines. Pay attention. Just believe, just believe, and you shall be saved. Pay attention. The laws are done away with null and void. It's the laws are what? Um, the laws are bondage. Pay attention. The laws are bondage. You cannot keep the laws. Pay attention. You are being destroyed. 
For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, these wise eloquent pastors that talk, 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 read one verse, and philosophize, give their own meaning, give their own spin. Pay attention, as well as false prophets coming to the truth, coming to accordingly, purportedly, to keep the truth, and still teaching you a deceptive, cunningly crafted doctrine. That was um, Second Peter 2, 2 and 1 is talking about. They are going to still deceive you behind on the next level. But there were false prophets also among the people. Even as there shall be false teachers among you, just as the pagan teachers and the pagan prophets and the pagan ministers and the pagan disciples, pay attention, calling this a minister, this evangelist, this, pay attention. They are going to come in what? False prophets among you also. And there shall be false teachers among you, who privily shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that brought them and bring upon themselves swift destruction. They are teaching you anti mashiach Pay attention. To what? This brings swift destruction. They're going to die. Pay attention. Because they are what? Deniers of Mashiach. They are denying the cross still. Because they are still teaching you sin in a crafty way. You cannot de detect it. Pay attention. And many shall follow their pernicious ways. Or what? Deadly ways. Pay attention. You see what? They are going to follow deadly, deadly or wickedly evil ways. Pay attention. Pay attention. And many shall follow their pernicious ways. By reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. They are blaspheming in a cutting crafty way you cannot understand. You can't, they can't detect it. Pay attention. They are blaspheming in a, in a way you cannot perceive or detect. Back to 1 Corinthians 1 and 19. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, and will bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent. These men of what this world philosophizing and giving their own thoughts and opinions and meanings of what or call themselves think tanks and giving their own spin to what the Bible means. The most I say this Bible or understanding can only be believed can only be revealed by the Holy Spirit. Pay attention. That's it, the Spirit of the Most High and the Son Yahushua Mashiach are coming in you and dwelling in you by you renewing your mind. Pay attention. Stop the things of the world. Leave off the things of the world and come back to the Lord and purging your sins, purging your iniquities and keeping the laws of God. Pay attention. That's when the Holy Spirit can come in you and, and guide you through this book. Pay attention, because it's the Most High speaking through you. You are a vessel or a channel through which the Most High is speaking. Pay attention. So if they're philosophizing their own thoughts, own opinions, the devil is channeling through them. Pay attention. They are channels of Satan. Pay attention. Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of this world? Had not God made foolish the wisdom of this world, the Most High is the one that tearing down all pagan institutions, tearing down all lies, tearing down all false doctrines. Pay attention right before your eyes. Pay attention. By I'm going to use somebody simple to do it. Pay attention. For after that in the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew not God. By their leaning on their own understanding and their academic qualifications or academia, pay attention, or their brilliant speech, pay attention. The Most High say what? For that for after that, in the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew not God. It pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. By what? I will send a man and he will preach and teach and everybody will mock and jeer. They will ignore. As did Noah. Pay attention. Noah was who? A preacher of righteousness. He was preaching the laws of God. Second Peter 2 and 5. And spared not the old world, but saved Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness. Bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly. Noah was preaching the laws of God. Pay attention. Repent. So the most are going to use what? One man, pay attention. And they're going to preach, they're going to call him. He say, who is he? Who does he? Pay attention. Who does he think he is? Pay attention. Nobody will give up. Nobody will pay attention. They will ignore. And then the most are going to bring the judgment. Pay attention. Back to 1 Corinthians 1 and verse 21. For after that in the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew not God. By their own wisdom, earthly wisdom, earthly qualifications, earthly education. Pay attention. By theologians. Pay attention. Giving their own opinion, not coming from the mouth of God or the spirit of God. Pay attention. It pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. I will send prophets, I will send messengers of God, men of God, to go and say, Thus say the Lord. This is what the book means. Reveal it to them. That they call it what? The foolishness of preaching. They go what? Mock you. They're going to ignore you. Pay attention. They're going to revile you. Pay attention. But it's going to save who? The ones that believe or who take heed to the commandments. Pay attention. That's what it is. This foolishness of preaching, this foolish teaching is only for the elect. It's only for the sons of God, the actual holy seed or the saints or the children of God here caught in this hell. Pay attention. Pay attention. Caught under the power of Satan. Pay attention. For the Jews require a sign 
and the Greeks seek after wisdom. Talking about who? Jews, Jews in Jerusalem who knew who they were, and the Greeks seek after wisdom. The Israelites living as Gentiles in, in, in this area, in Greece. Pay attention. All these cities of Greece, in Corinth, in Galatia. Pay attention. In Ephesus, it's too good when they refer to as Greeks, it's Israelites born in the diaspora, living in the diaspora. Pay attention. Not talking about the heathen. But we preach Mashiach crucified unto the Jews. Who in Jerusalem, who knew who they are, is stumbling block. He came to who? He came unto his own and his own received them not. John 1 and 10. He came to his own, the Pharisees, the scribes, the, the Sadducees, the elders, the nobles of Israel. He came to them because they were the rulers of the nation. And he would just say, okay, come, how to teach him erroneously. Animal sacrifice. That's done away with. Let me teach you now. This is the way. You're in sin. You cannot escape here. You cannot escape the power of Satan. Satan's origin and, and destination and final destination. Who is he? What kind of power he has? He has major power because Yahushua is telling you, you cannot escape him because why? We're going to, we're going to see why, why Yahushua is telling you you cannot escape him. Where did he originate from? That Yahushua have to come to tell them, okay, this is how you get out. Pay attention. Because Yahushua knows something that many of us don't know on this earth. <laughs> Men living on their earth, own earthly understanding and thinking, I in charge, I got power, I smart, I clever, I cunning. And you just say, you don't, have, you don't have a clue who Satan is, what kind of power he is, where he originated, and who, who appointed him establishing to dominate you. Pay attention. You just say, follow me. Pay attention. Believe what I tell you. Only way you're going to escape. Pay attention. But we preach Mashiach crucified, dying on the cross for a purpose. The Lamb of God, John 1, 29, Behold, the Lamb of God that take away the sin of the world, that shed in his blood, for a reason to tell you, okay, this is how you escape it. Now I cover you with my blood, you have grace and faith, do this, follow me, follow my commands, my instructions, my laws that I'm decreeing to you to, to do, and stop saying I need it to the cross. Stop saying he come and what? Destroy the law. Matthew 5, 17, he said, never come to destroy the law. Follow me, do them, pay attention, that's how you're going to escape. Pay attention. You don't know, you don't understand the power he has. Pay attention. You can't begin to understand it. Pay attention. It's what? For the Jews require a sign, and the Greeks seek after wisdom. They own understanding. But we preach Mashiach crucified unto the Jews, the stumbling block, the, the, the elders, the nobles, the rulers who he came unto. Unto them a what? Stumbling block or a snare. Because they're not understanding. Why is it a stumbling block unto them? Go to, go to 2 Corinthians 4 and 3. 2 Corinthians read 4 and verse. I read 2 down. But I've renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of God deceitfully. The laws of God, they're handling it what? Deceitfully, because it's saying, keep my commandments and live, and you're saying, believe, brother, believe, sister, he nailed it to the cross. Pay attention, the law is bondage. He destroyed the law. You're handling the word of God deceitfully, because the book says, keep them laws, and <laughs> my law will endure forever. Keep my commandments and live. But you handle it what? Craftily or deceitfully. Pay attention. You say what? But by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of God. Manifesting. This is what the book is about. This is what the truth is about. Pay attention. But if our gospel be hid, if you don't understand what's being taught or what's in this Bible, a book of laws from Genesis to Revelation, and you can't understand, and a man telling you, you need it to the cross, and you believe him, and you go to school for how many years, Pay attention. You have qualifications, you have degrees, you have masters, you have doctorates. Pay attention. And you can really, you can understand a book. I give you laws, a book of laws, hundreds and hundreds of laws, and you tell me he, he come and destroy all. You don't have to do nothing. If our gospel be hid, if you don't understand it, it is hid to them that are lost. You are what? Lost. You are lost in the source under the power of Satan. Because Mashiach said, you don't understand who he is and where he came from. Pay attention. What kind of power he has? The power of persuasion. To persuade you to believe what? The lie that that man in front of you stand up and telling you. He nailed laws to the cross. He must have come and give you 613 plus laws. And you're saying what? He nailed it to the cross. You don't have to do none. He nailed what? Animal sacrifice to the cross. He said no more animal sacrifice. Because it, it, was, it was promoting willful sin. They would sin, kill the goat. Sin, kill the lamb. Sin, kill the two total love. Because they what? Offset the sin. Most of don't kill you for that sin. So it became what willful sin instead of what our forefathers striving to keep the law, 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 keep the law. Then we have no reason to sacrifice no animal for sin. Pay attention. These are the ones that make it out. Pay attention. These are the ones that escape the destruction of Yahushua Mashiach or the destruction of the Mosai. Pay attention. Who will escape and who will enter the kingdom? That's why some were taken up. Our forefathers were what? Taken straight off the earth alive. 
pay attention because they were keeping a law, keeping a law, keeping a law, keeping a law. They were not worrying about violating. Pay attention. So that we say be, be what transformed by the renewing of your mind. Grace and faith is for you to grace and grace and faith is for us to change our mind, how we think. Keep them laws, keep them laws, keep them laws. Man saying what it's near to the cross. No, this is what the book says. Keep them laws, keep them laws. Pay attention, you have to keep it. Otherwise you're gonna die. It's hit to them that are lost. Why? In whom the God of this world, Satan, who is what? He's the God. This is Rebecca Law, case G-O-D. He's the God or the ruler. He has autonomy. Pay attention. Total autonomy or control of power and this earth because it was delivered into his hand. He said, the most I give me this. The earth is delivered into the hands of the wicked. Job 9 and 24. Luke 4 and 6, Satan said to Yahushua, If thou would bow down and worship me, all this power, all this what? Power and the glory and the wealth with it. Well, I give unto you. Satan said, you sure, the Son of God, I will give you, because I, I know you are the Son of God. He came and manifested on earth as, as his brethren, a little Lord and angel, um, born as what? The children of God on earth, his siblings, and come and teach them. Follow me. Satan said, you sure, worship me. I will give you all, as he did with Eve. Bow down and worship me. I will give you all. Pay attention. All the power and glory, because the Most High delivered it into his hand. Who is Satan? What is his origin? Who is he? What power you have that the Most High gave him power on this earth? Pay attention. You need to pay attention. In whom the God of this world, Satan, had blinded the minds of them which believe not. Who don't want to follow Yahushua? Believe what? The commandments. He that believe it, take it, heed, or will do the commandments. Because you don't want to do it, he nailed it to the cross. He nailed it to the cross. He blotted the ordinances that was, that was contrary to us. Blotting out the ordinances that was contrary to us, nailing it to the cross. We don't have to do nothing. Let no man judge you meat or, meat or drink. We could eat anything. Any, there's no such thing as defiled foods anymore. He destroyed the law. Pay attention. The God of this world had blinded your mind to believe that lie. Pay attention. Because you don't believe in the Most High God. You don't believe in His laws. You don't believe in His Son, Yahushua Mashiach. Pay attention. Or in other words, you're a blasphemer. Pay attention. You are a willful sinner. You don't want to hear nothing about law and order. God who? The God of this world. Satan is the God of this world. The what? Satan's origin. Satan's what? Origin. Who is he? What kind of power does he have to be a God in this world, of this world? Dominion of this world where we are living in right now. Pay attention. He has dominion. This is hell. Pay attention. If you don't understand it, the God of this world had what? Blinded you for you to think that this is heaven. Pay attention. And look around and see what's going on around you. Pay attention. He had blinded the minds of them which believe not. Who don't believe the commandments and the laws. Who don't believe in God. Pay attention. Who don't believe in His Son, Yahushua Mashiach. Lest the light of the glorious gospel of Mashiach, which is the gospel of life. Pay attention. Follow me. Means Jehusha say, follow me. To do as I do to get out. Pay attention. To resurrect out of here. To, to, to resurrect at judgment day when I come to judge. To judge the living and the dead. Who are going to go with me into the new kingdom or the new phase? Pay attention to the kingdom of Yahushua Mashiach. Or who are going to go into the pit of torment. Of, of the lake that burned with fire and brimstone. Whose souls are going to be destroyed. Or whose souls are going to be saved. Pay attention. Who is the image of God? Yahushua Mashiach is the image of the Father. Pay attention. Who is the image of God? Should shine unto them. Pay attention. You're going to understand the power of God. For God who commanded the light to shine out of darkness had shined in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Yahushua Mashiach. He said the Mosai will give the glory or the knowledge to those who believe Him, who know Him. Pay attention. Otherwise the rest were blinded because Satan has blinded them. He's a God of this world. The origin of Satan. Pay attention. Who is he? What power he have? Matthew 11 and 6. Matthew chapter 11 verse 6. And blessed is he, whosoever shall not be offended in me. Yahushua Mashiach word says what? Who, who, who blessed is the man that is not offended at what he's teaching. Who say when he says, follow me, keep, my, keep the commandments and live, you're not offended. You're not getting offense. Pay attention. When he says, stop eating defiled food. You're not getting offended. Pay attention. He say, change the way you think and change the things you do. It. Keep my commandments and live. You're not going to get offended. That's the ones who are going to bless. Pay attention. Other than that, you are cursed or you will be cursed into believing what? The lies, the lies or the deceptions or false doctrines, false teachings, doctrines of devils. Pay attention. Sprinkle water and you until you see you pay attention. They pay in a pool and tell you, three times until you're saved. Pay attention and you continue doing your vile life, your lascivious life, your sin, your abomination, 
The same way. Pay attention. John 8, 32. He said, blessed is the man that is, is not offended in me. John chapter 8, verse 31 and 32. Then said I wish to those Jews which believed on him, if you continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. Because to the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, there is no light in them. Isaiah 8 and 20. If you're not coming and saying the word, the word is what? The laws of God. If you're not prophesying the laws of God, there's no light in you. So the word is what? The laws, the laws of God. So you're continuing what? Keeping the laws. Follow me. Keep them laws. Come back. If you continue my word or the laws of God, then are you my disciples in this stipulation. Follow me. You have to keep the word or the laws of God to be his disciple. Pay attention. And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. That's how you're going to get free from under the power of Satan. Pay attention. The original Satan. Who is Satan? What kind of power he has? Pay attention. If he tells us on a word, bow down and worship me. What does, he, what does he have all the world doing? What does he have everyone in the world doing? Bowing down and worshiping him, and you don't have a clue. Pay attention. Pay attention. Satan's origin and final destination. Who is he, and where is he destined to go? Isaiah 61, 1-11. Isaiah 61 and 1. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, the Holy Spirit, because the Lord had anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty or freedom to the captives. This is Yahushua. He said, Become the Holy Spirit. To proclaim what? Liberty or freedom to the captives. So we are what? In captivity or imprisoned under Satan. Here on this earth, pay attention. Where did Yahushua come and manifest? On this earth, pay attention, which is hell. Pay attention, or our captivity, or colony, prison colony. Pay attention, the children of God are in captive, captivity under Satan. Where Satan's origin, who is he and what power he have? To have power over the children of God, or have um, power over our colony. Pay attention, or earth, pay attention. And send what? Imprison the children of God. Imprison, imprison, to proclaim liberty to the captives. And the opening of the prison to them that are born. So you're in a prison colony. Earth is a prison colony and Satan is the prison officer. Pay attention. He's the prison commissioner. Pay attention. The original Satan, who is he? Pay attention. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God. To comfort all that mourn. The Mosai has to come and what? Wreak vengeance upon him. Pay attention. Pay attention. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. To give unto them beauty for ashes. The, age, the ancient Israelites, pay attention, are in Imprisoned under Satan, or conquered or, in, or colonized under Satan. Pay attention. To give unto them beauty for ashes for mourning. He's coming to give us what? Beauty. The, the oil of joy for mourning. We are in mourning. He's coming to give us glory and joy. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, and that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified, and they shall build the old ways. Go back into the, but build the old ways, back into the land. They shall raise up the former desolation that the Most High destroyed from 70 AD, destroyed under Babylon, destroyed under the Greek, the Holy Land, and then finally under the Roman beast kingdom, he come and desolate it and burn it to the ground and scatter all behind in the four winds. Pay attention. As we are this day in the transatlantic slave trade, pay attention, children of the, the transatlantic slave trade, children of the what? Sub Saharan slave trade, pay attention, scattered in the four winds, sold by all the nations, all the hidden nations, pay attention. And they shall repair the waste cities. We are going back home with Yahushua Mashiach to rebuild the land as a holy land. Pay attention. A land of law and order that Adam had as the Garden of Eden or the Garden of God or the mountain of the Lord. Law and order. Pay attention. And they shall build the old waste. They shall raise up the former desolations. And they shall repair the waste cities, the desolations of many generations. Pay attention. We are going back under Yahushua to rebuild the land, Yahushua's kingdom. We take the land. Pay attention. And strangers shall stand and feed your flocks. Who? The heathen nations are going into servitude. Pay attention. They are going to be feeding the flocks. Pay attention. The Moses is about to return. This reverse the script. And the sons of the alien. The who? They are the aliens. Pay attention. Nobody tell you. You are the alien. You are the illegal alien. They are the aliens according to the Bible. Thus said the Lord. Pay attention. And the sons of the aliens shall be your plowmen and your vine dressers. They are your servants. Pay attention. And they are the what? You are going back into rulership. They are going back into servitude. But you shall be named the priests of the Lord. Because he's establishing a kingdom of priests under Yahushua HaMashiach. Pay attention. And what? 
law and order going to be prevailing on this earth. Pay attention. Men shall call you the ministers of our God, because not false pagan ministers teaching you sin and abomination. He nailed the laws to the cross. He fulfilled the law. He destroyed the law. It's, a, it's the law is bonded. You don't have to do it no more. They are not ministers of God. They are ministers of Satan. Pay attention. Satan's origin and his ministers. Who are they? Where did they come from? What power they have? You shall be called ministers of our God of the Most High. You shall eat the riches of the Gentiles. You are going to take the wealth. Pay attention. And in their glory shall you boast yourself. You are going to have what? Their glory or wealth or riches of power. Pay attention. And the power of the Most High. Law and order, which is the glory or the glory of the Most High. Pay attention. For your shame, you shall have double. The Most High say, we are in what? Our shameful state. In the midst of sin and abomination. Pay attention and embracing that. You're going to have what? Double. I'm going to turn your what? Shame into glory. Pay attention. And for confusion, they shall rejoice in their portion. Therefore, in their land, they shall possess the double. Everlasting joy shall be unto them. The most I said, I'm going to reward you double. For I, the Lord, love judgment. I hate robbery for burnt offering. And I will direct their work in truth. And I will make an everlasting covenant with them. With the children of Israel, the ancient Israelites. We are still here. We are their progeny that was scattered in the four winds of the earth. And sold into chapter slavery into the four corners of the earth. Pay attention. We turn to your God. We turn to his laws. And he will fight for thee. Pay attention. For I, the Lord, love judgment. I hate robbery for burnt offering. And I will direct their work in truth. And I will make an everlasting covenant with them. The most I say, Hebrews 8 and 8. Who is he going to make the everlasting covenant with? Hebrews chapter 8 and verse 8. Hebrews 8 and 8. I read verse 7. For if that first covenant had been faultless, animal sacrifice, then should no place have been sought for the second. So animal sacrifice had loopholes. It was not working. It led to willful sin sacrifice, the animal willful sin sacrifice. So it could make the commas here unto perfect. It could perfect our forefathers. They became willful sinners and dependent on the sacrifice of the animal to save their life. Pay attention. So they're violating the laws, in other words. Pay attention. For finding fault with them, it was faulty. He said, Behold, the days come, said the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, all twelve tribes, northern kingdom, southern kingdom. Pay attention. Referred to as what? Jews or Gentiles. Southern kingdom, Judah. Jew, Judah. Jew come from Judah. Judah. Pay attention. And Israel or northern kingdom. Or Ephraim, the northern ten tribes. Or they call them Gentiles. Living as the heathen Gentiles. Not according to the covenant animal sacrifice that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt. Not according to the animal sacrifice I gave them with Moses. Because they continued not in my covenant. We were breaking the covenant and, and, and sacrificing the animal. So the most I said, they weren't keeping the laws. They become willful sinners. And I regarded them not, said the Lord. Because we were still willful sinners sacrificed so the most I don't kill us. Most I said, that ain't working. They cannot escape the power of Satan. Pay attention. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, after the days of our tribulation, or trial, or Jacob's trouble, scattered in the four winds, after I scatter you behind, and you go through your punishment or your hell. Pay attention. Or your punishment for violating my covenant. I will put my laws into their mind. He's planting the laws where? Here. Be not conformed to this world, Romans 12 and 2, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind or changing your thought processes. From willful sinners, he needed to the cross, from unbelievers to believers. The most I is dealing with that direct, directly by spiritual download. Pay attention. I'm planting the laws in their mind, in our spirit. Pay attention. I'm sealing up our minds. And they will understand. And they're coming back to my laws. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel, after those days, after a tribulation period, said the Lord, I will put my laws into their minds and write them in their hearts. Your mind is your heart. Pay attention. And I will be to them a God and they shall be to me a people. Pay attention. The most I say, who? They're going to be a people back to me. Isaiah 61 and verse 8. Isaiah 61 and 8. For I, the Lord, love judgment. I will punish you for, for violation. I hate robbery for burnt offering. And I will direct their work in truth, the Lord's. And I will make an everlasting covenant with them. That's what, we did. What, did we, what did we read in Hebrews 8 and 8? With the house of Israel and the house of Judah. All 12 tribes. Pay attention. The ancient Israelites. Still here. Still God's people. Nothing changed. Pay attention. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. Satan has deceived the earth into believing. He loved all people. Pay attention. You have been deceived. Pay attention. The origin of Satan. Satan's what? Origin. Who is he? What kind of power or persuasion does he have? To rule your spirit. Rule your mind. Rule your thoughts. Rule you and dominate you and you don't have a clue. Pay attention. You think you're smart. You think you're in control. No, you're not. Pay attention. 
and their seed shall be known among the Gentiles. The seed, the seed of the children of God, from the holy seed of Adam come right through the children of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the children of Israel. We are still here, the holy seed. Pay attention. And their seed shall be known among the Gentiles. Where we are scattered among the heathen nations, the Gentiles right now, the most I say, they will be known. We will be known. By the foolishness of preaching, we're going to say, Thus said the Lord. This is what the mysteries of God is about. Pay attention and tear down the whole of pagan sun worship. Pay attention all the lies they've been teaching you. God destroyed the law. He nailed it to the cross. We're going to say, Thus said the Lord. We're going to the book and say, God said, Not one jot or one tittle shall in wise perish from this law. Matthew 5 and 17, 17 through 19. Yeah, we shall say, One jot or one tittle shall in no wise perish from this law. I ain't taking not a comma or period from my laws, from none of God's laws. Think not I come to destroy the laws. He said, I come to destroy none. Not to come no period. The laws endure forever. Pay attention. You're going to say, Thus say the Lord. Because why? And their seed shall be known among the Gentiles. Isaiah 61 and 9. We will be known among who? The Gentiles in our tribulation period where we are scattered in the four winds for violating God's laws. He said, like Raising them up right in front of their eyes. Pay attention. And their offspring among the people, the heathen. Pay attention. All that see them shall acknowledge them. They will what? Bow down and acknowledge us that what? That they are the seed which the Lord had blessed. The seed, the seed, the holy seed of Adam. Pay attention. The children of God, the holy seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Unto this day. That they are what? The seed which the Lord had blessed. We are blessed forever. Pay attention. You see, and in thy seed shall all nations be blessed. We are going through a tribulation, blessing them with wealth. Pay attention. Rewarding them with our free labor, our free presence, or the presence of the spirit that's with us. We are the children of God. Through us, they are being blessed. Pay attention. The blessings or the wealth is their reward for punishing us for violating our God. Pay attention. They're going to what? Bow down and understand the sons of God have risen. They stood upon their feet. Pay attention. And great fear fell upon them. We saw them. They are going to understand. They are here and they are rising. They are, they are up. Pay attention. All that see them shall acknowledge them that they are the seed which the Lord has blessed. I will greatly rejoice to the Lord. My soul shall be joyful in my God, for he had clothed me with the garments of salvation. He had covered me with the robe of righteousness, the law, as a bridegroom decketh himself with ornaments, and as a bride adorneth herself with the jewels. For as the earth bringeth forth her bud, for as the earth bringeth forth her bud, and as the garden causeth the things that are sown in it to spring forth, so the Lord will cause righteousness and praise to spring forth before all the nations. The Moses is causing what? This law and this order to be taught right now before all the nations. The most are doing it. Pay attention. We are standing up on our feet. Acts 2 and 25. Acts chapter 2, verse 25. For David speaketh concerning him, Yahushua, I foresaw the Lord always before thy face, for he is on my right hand that I should not be moved. Therefore did my heart rejoice, and my tongue was glad. Moreover also my flesh shall rest in hope, because thou, the Most High, will not leave my soul in hell. You, David say what? Don't leave my soul in hell, the Most High. Pay attention. Neither will thou suffer thine holy one, Yahushua, to see corruption. You're not going to as long what? Yahushua Mashiach, who came where? In hell, where King David was. In hell, on this earth. Pay attention. Yahushua was manifest where? On earth, which is hell. Pay attention. It's hell for the children of God or the Holy Seed. Pay attention. That's our tribulation period. Pay attention, we are being punished under the power of Satan in hell on this earth. Pay attention. He said, What? Neither did he suffer what? Thy holy one, Yahushua Mashiach, when he came and manifested on earth to see corruption. He did not sin. He did no sin. But they teach it. He nailed it to the cross, the Lord's bondage. Pay attention. Men and brethren, let me freely speak unto you of the patriarch David, that he is both dead and buried, and his sepulchre is with us unto this day. Therefore, being a prophet, and knowing that God had sworn with an oath to him, that of the fruit of his loins, of the seed or lineage of David, according to the flesh, of, because God was manifested on earth, means Yahushua Mashiach, born on earth of Joseph and Mary, having intercourse, which is the fruit of David's loin, the lineage or the sperm or bloodline or progeny of King David. Pay attention which is the progeny of Adam. Pay attention to the children of God. Yeah, which is born of lineage. He came on the earth and born of intercourse. Pay attention. Joseph and Mary, of the fruit of his loins, his sperm, the sperm of David's loins, his lineage, his lineage. Pay attention. Of the tribe of Judah. Pay attention. According to the flesh of the tribe of Judah, he would raise up Mashiach to sit on his throne. Yeah, which come and what? 
to, write, to rule this earth, pay attention. When he come and manifest as his brethren, born little Lord and angels in hell, and say, follow me, how to get out of hell from under Satan. Pay attention to what? Establish the kingdom of Yahushua. When he wants to sit on his throne, he's going to be the next king in succession. The next king of the United Kingdom, of the United Nation of Israel, Judah, Israel, Southern Kingdom, Northern Kingdom. Pay attention. All 12 tribes. He's coming to re-establish his kingdom. Reunite the kingdom. All 12 tribes. He's seeing this before speak of the resurrection of Mashiach. That's why he came in hell and resurrected out of hell. Go back to the heavenly realm. Back as God. Pay attention. That his soul was not left in hell. He came here. His soul was where? Right here. Pay attention. He came and walked on the earth in hell. This is the Bible. Here. Yeah. Pay attention. And everybody thinks they're in heaven. Pay attention. Neither his flesh did see corruption. He came in Satan's domain. In what? Satan's domain. Because Satan said to him in Luke 4 and 6, If thou wilt bow down and worship me, Yahushua, because he was 40 days tempted of the devil. He came and walked on the earth and Satan was tempting him. Pay attention like he's tempting us. Who is the origin of Satan? Satan's what? Origin. Who is he? What power does he have to tempt the Son of God? Pay attention. He said what? Moses ensured that his soul was not left in hell. Neither his flesh did see corruption. He did no sin. He kept himself pure. Pay attention. He said, follow me. Do as I do to escape Satan. Pay attention. Satan's origin. Who is he? What power he have? That the Son of God has to manifest and say, okay, this is how we get away from him. He's not normal. Pay attention. He's not just a regular spirit. He's not just a regular being. Pay attention. He's not just. He's not just. There's something about him. He has a level of power. Pay attention. Surpassing many angels. Pay attention. He has a, he has a high power. Pay attention. Pay attention. And you shall say, okay, this is how we get away. Otherwise, you're dying right here. He has that level of power or persuasion or hold or stranglehold or stronghold on you or grasp on you, on your spirit. And you don't have a clue. You've been taken out or deceived. Pay attention. Ezekiel 8 and 16. Ezekiel chapter 8 verse 16. How does he have that power on you and you don't know? Ezekiel 8 and verse 16. And he brought me into the inner court of the Lord's house. As the angel take Ezekiel and bring him in a vision. And what? And he brought him into the inner court of the Lord's house. And behold, at the door of the temple of the Lord, between the porch and the altar were about five and twenty men, twenty-five Israelite men, with their backs towards the temple of the Lord, and their faces towards the east, and they worship the sun towards the east. They were worshiping the sun, the sun, Baal worship or pagan sun worship. Pay attention to so come out of the pig, these pagan Sunday institutions. It's sun worship. Pay attention. It's sun worship. Worshiping Baal or Satan. Pay attention. Go to Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy 4 and 19. Pay attention. Am I making this up? Deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 19. Deuteronomy 4 and 19. Unless thou lift up thine eyes unto heaven. This is Moses giving the, the this is the most high decree. Unless thou lift up thine eyes unto heaven. And when thou seest the sun, the what? The sun and the moon and the stars, even all the hosts of heaven, the most high creation, should it be driven to worship them. The most I say, I made a creation for their purposes. And you worship in the creation. The most I say, worship me. I am the creator. Not the creature. The creature, not my creation. Pay attention. Idols. Idols. Pay attention. Unless thou lift up thine eyes unto heaven. And when thou seest the sun and the moon and the stars, even all the hosts of heaven, shouldest be driven to worship them and serve them, which the Lord thy God had divided unto all the nations under the whole heaven. They have their functions to give light. Pay attention to what count your feast days. The moon, you start, you know how to keep the most high feast, etc. The most I say, they're, they're my purpose and my creation, and you want to worship them as an idol. You want to worship them as a god. Pay attention. So the most I say, why? You're worshiping the devil and you don't have a clue. You're worshiping Baal Peor. Pay attention. The devil himself. Luke 13 and 10. And he was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath day, in one of the Pharisee synagogues. And behold, there was a woman which had a spirit of infirmity 18 years. She had what? She was possessed with a, with, with a demon. And it had a what? Infirm, sick. Pay attention. And was bowed together. She was what? Bowed together. Bend over. Pay attention. And could in no wise lift up herself. We call it what? Bow see back or bow back. Pay attention. Or bend spine. And when Yahushua saw her, he called her to him and said unto her, Woman, thou art loose from thine infirmity. He did what? 
you are loose from your infirmity. It's all spirits. It's all demonic forces or evil spirits. Pay attention. It's all you need to pay attention and understand Satan's origin. Who is he? What kind of power he have? Pay attention. Yahushua came and loosed her from that. Pay attention. And he laid his hand on her. And immediately she was made straight and glorified God. She stood up. Pay attention from being bent over. Pay attention. You see it, you see it all over the, on, on the earth. And she glorified God. And the ruler of the synagogue answered with indignation. He mad because that Yahushua had healed on the Sabbath day. And said unto the people, There are six days in which men ought to work. In them therefore come and be healed. And not on the Sabbath day. He said, what? Why are you healing on the Sabbath day? Come six days in the, week, in the week to get healed. Pay attention, but not on the Sabbath. But these people with them, all, were with them all along and they couldn't heal nothing. They couldn't heal none. Pay attention. But he said, oh, come six days. But he's mad that Yahushua is healing. The spirit of envy. Pay attention. The Lord then answered him and said, Thou hypocrite, does not each one of you on the Sabbath loose his ox or his ass from the stall and lead him away to, to water in? He said, don't you just allow your, your animals to drink water on the Sabbath? And ought not this woman being a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan had bound? He said, what? This woman being a daughter of Abraham, she's one of the holy seed. Pay attention. She's one of the children of God or the royals of God. Pay attention. Whom Satan had bound. So Satan is going after who? The royals, the holy seed. He's going after the holy seed. Revelation 12 and 17. And the dragon was wrought with the woman, the children of Israel, the devil, Satan, and went to make war with the remnant of a seed which keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Yahushua, the elect, the elect or the holy seed, the children of God, the holy seed that remain unto this day. The remnant, pay attention. He's waging what? War to destroy. Make sure. Who is he? Pay attention. Back to Luke 13 and verse 16. And ought not this woman, being a daughter of Abraham, who Satan had bound, Lo, these 18 years, 18 years he had a bowed over, so who did it? Satan. What power does he have? Spirits. He put spirits on her. Pay attention. Evil spirits. Be loose from this bond on the Sabbath day. He said, I'm going to loose her. Whenever I'm going to heal her, I'm going to heal her. Pay attention, because he was going all over. When I come, I heal, and I keep it moving. Pay attention. Who did it? Satan had bound her. Who? Satan. Pay attention. Satan's origin, he has a power, <laughs> a power incomparable to men, any man or lower ranking angels, pay attention within the heavenly realm, he has a serious power, pay attention why did the angel have to call for Michael to help him to battle in, in the book of Daniel to take down the Medo-Persian the Medo empire he was not able to do it on his own, he had to call for Michael to help him pay attention and Michael the prince came and helped him, when we the book of Daniel Daniel chapter Daniel chapter Daniel chapter 10 and verse 13. But the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me. Because he said what? The prince or the king of the kingdom of Persia. Satan over that, that kingdom. Satan and his fallen angels over these beast kingdoms. One and twenty days. Twenty-one days he was battling him to take down the kingdom of the, the Persia, the Medo Persia. And pay attention. But lo, Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me. Michael had to come to help take down these beast kingdoms. Pay attention. Because one of what? The princess over them means the spirit, that spirit, that demonic spirit over them. Pay attention. Satan's origin and what power he has, you need to pay attention. He's not, no regular angel can take him down. Pay attention. Michael, who is the what? The, 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 the angel of war. Pay attention. He had to come with the forces to take down, to take down that evil force. Pay attention. And I remained there with the kings of Persia, battling them. Because the holy angels, the most I see, when the kingdom is done, each beast kingdom, the most I said, holy angels, okay, go take them out. And establish what? Another beast kingdom because we go back into sin. Sin to sin or captivity to captivity. And we cry out to the Lord, He deliver. And then we go back into sin, He punish her behind again. Pay attention. So what kind of power Satan have? He have power to bind with evil spirits. As we read in Luke 13 and verse 16. He bind and had a bow for 18 years. You shall say, get the hands, rebuke that spirit, rebuke the demon, and the woman stand up. Now you healed and she stand up not like normal. Pay attention. So all sicknesses and diseases, Satan has the power over them. Spirits, evil spirits. Pay attention. Acts 16, 11 to 17. Acts chapter 16, verse 11 to 17. Acts 16, 11 to 17. 
Therefore, loosened from trust, we came with a straight course to Samothracia, and the next day to Neapolis, and from thence to Philippi, which is the chief city of that part of Macedonia, because he was going to the churches, the churches of his brethren scattered in, 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 in those areas. Pay attention. And a colony, and we were in that city abiding certain days. He went to his brethren. And on the Sabbath, we went out of the city by a riverside, where prayer was one to be made, so they were all praying by the riverside. And we sat down and spake unto the women which resorted to us. So these women were going by the riverside. And a certain woman named Lydia, a seller of purple of the city of Thyatira, which worshipped God. But who? One, uh, unto the angel of the church in Thyatira. One of the seven churches. They were going to who? Their brethren in the churches of God. Pay attention. It's Israelites born in the diaspora, scattered in the diaspora. Pay attention. Their brethren they were going to. And a certain woman named Lydia, a seller of purple of the city of Thyatira, which worshipped God, she was keeping the laws, heard us. Whose heart the Lord opened her mind, the Lord God opened her mind, her understanding. Be, it, be not conformed to this world, but be it transformed by the renewing of your mind. The most I, by keeping the law, the most I will open your mind, your understanding, and cause it to understand what's written in here. What is the mysteries? Believe the gospel. Keep them word. Keep them laws. You ain't going to believe he needed to the cross. He destroyed the law. Pay attention. You say, that's garbage you teach me, even if you're caught up in a pagan sun worship. Once you trust in the Lord and you come back and you start keeping them laws, he going to make you understand. You've been taught lies. You've been taught deceits. Pay attention. You've been taught deceptions. Pay attention. You've been taught falsities. Pay attention. And you're going to mark the Lord that opened. Whose heart the Lord that opened? Her mind. He make her understand. Pay attention. So who can make you understand? Only the Lord. Pay attention. You have to be a child of God for him to make you understand. Whose heart the Lord opened? His mind. Her, her mind. That she attended unto the things which were spoken of Paul. She, she means attending. She obeyed. But she pay attention. She's giving attention and obeying what Paul was teaching. And when she was baptized and her household, she was what? Change, change, change. Baptized is not about dipping in water. She gave attendance to the things spoken by Paul. Keep the commandments, keep the statutes, keep the laws, keep the covenants of the Most High God. And she what? Attended at it. She, she applied it. And when she was baptized, she believed she was converted or changed. And the household, they were converted and changed because they started to believe. She besought us, saying, If you have judged me to be faithful to the Lord, come into my house and abide there. And she constrained us. So she was what? She became charitable to them and she entertained them. Come, come and feel all it. Pay attention. And it came to pass, as we went to pray, a certain damsel possessed with a spirit of divination. This one, this other one, she had a spirit of divination. She was a diviner or sorcerer. Or, 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 a diviner or sorceress. Pay attention. Or soothsayer. Pay attention. She met us, which brought her masters much gain by soothsaying. So her masters was not the man over her. She was getting divining for money. The same followed Paul and us and cried, saying, These men are the servants of the Most High God. She said what? These men are the servants of the Most High God. Pay attention. She identified them as who? The servants of the Most High God. So they are servants of Satan. Her masters are who? Servants of Satan. So she said, These are men of God. Pay attention. Because what? The devils believe and tremble. The devils know who they are. They are who shall we know? Paul we know, but who are you? The sons of Sivas. Pay attention. They were pretending to be what, exorcists. But the most high, the demons say, we know Paul, we know Yahushua, but who are you? And they rip them, they rip into them and tear them. Pay attention, because they were wicked as hell in the midst of sin. Satan trying to cast out Satan, they get overpowered by demons above their pay grade. Pay attention. Because she understand what? Them is men of God. Pay attention, because she, she was what? Following the devil. Pay attention. These men are the servants of the Most High God, which show unto us the way of salvation. She understood. She said, this is the way. And she understood. Pay attention. Matthew 8 and 16. When the evening was come, they brought unto him many that were possessed with devils, and he cast out the spirits with his word, and healed all that were sick. So they brought many people that were possessed with devils. Pay attention. And Yahushua did what? Heal them he, by what? How did he heal them? He cast out these spirits or these evil spirits or devils with his word. With what? The law, statutes, commandments, and judgment and testimonies. To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. Isaiah 8 and 20. Isaiah 8 and 20. You see what? If they don't speak to the, the, the law and the testimony, uh, which is the word of God, 
there's no light in them. They are coming from, the, the, they're divining from Satan. Pay attention, they are divining from the spirit of Satan. They are given what? Their own philosophies, thoughts, and words, and meanings, and opinions. That's what 1 Corinthians was talking about. For it, 1 Corinthians 1 and 19, For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise. These earthly men, they're coming from Satan's, Satan's standpoint. From Satan's standpoint, preaching their own thoughts, own opinions, own feelings. Pay attention. Back to 1 Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 1 and verse 27. But God had chosen the foolish things. Read verse 1 Corinthians 1 and 26. For you see a calling brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, nor many mighty, not many noble are called, not many men of what earthly academia or qualifications or education are called to follow the laws of God. Pay attention. So they are following who? Satan. That's why they follow these pagans and houses. Bamboozle and teaching the lies and deceits and deceptions. They have become messengers of Satan because they're not relying on the Most High God by keeping the commandments so the Holy Spirit will come in them and lead them. But God had chosen the foolish things of the world to confirm the wise. Base men. Most I say will take base men and turn this world upside down. Turn all that you've been taught here, Satan's lies and deceits and deception in this hell, turn it upside down by sending a base man among you. Pay attention. And God had chosen the weak things of the world to confirm the things which are mighty. The mighty that write all these, these books and write all these theology, doctrines, and many scholar, scholarly books and, and um, encyclopedias. Pay attention. And studies of the law and studies of the Bible. The most I say, I would take a base man, just read the book, but pay attention. And through my Holy Spirit and the Spirit of my Son, Yahushua Mashiach, and turn it upside down. Pay attention. Throw it in the garbage bin. That they are teaching you lies, deceit, deceptions. You've been deceived by Satan. You're in hell. Pay attention. The most I say, I would choose a base man to take it down. Pay attention to dismantle the lies of this system of hell. Pay attention. And base things of the world and things which are despised, God has chosen, yea, and things which are not, to bring to naught things that are the mighty, pay attention, or the mighty ones of the earth, the, 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 the earthly educated. Pay attention, the astute or the elite class of the earth with their lies and deceits and deception and their spins and their philosophies and their understandings of what? The scriptures and their opinions. The most I said, will take a base man and just turn it upside down. Because with my Holy Spirit and the Spirit of the Son, turn it upside down. Pay attention. He came from nowhere. Who is he? Where did he come from? What is his background? What is his understanding? of the, what, is his, what is his biblical background? The most I say, no. It's the Holy Spirit or the glory of God or the power of God. Channeling through that individual, pay attention. Because you, are, you have to be renewing the spirit of your mind. Or clean the temple up. Pay attention. Because knowing that you are the temple of God and the spirit of God dwelling in you. If any man defile the temple, him will God destroy. You have to clean up what? Your temple, your mind. The way you think. Keep them laws and the commandments. Keep them statute that the Holy Spirit can come and dwell in you. And confound the wise. The earthly wisdom. Pay attention. Mark chapter 5 in 1 to 17. Mark 5 and 1. And they came over unto the other side of the sea, into the country of the Gadarenes. And when he was come out of the ship, immediately they met him out of the tombs, a man with an unclean spirit, who had his dwelling among the tombs. And no man could bind him, no, not with chains. Pay attention, the power that man had on him, they, they chained him up and he was breaking chains. Pay attention, we see many things and we hear many things on this earth. Pay attention, he was breaking chains. Where is he getting that power from? How could a man with a human bone and human flesh break a, break a chain, a metal chain, an iron chain? Pay attention. Why? Because that he had been often bound with fetters and chains. And the chains had been plucked asunder by him. He broke them. Pay attention. And the fetters, often he broke them. Not once, not twice. They say often. Because that he had been often bound with fetters and chains. And the chains had been plucked asunder by him. He had often broken them the same way. They couldn't restrain him with physical chains. Pay attention. And the fetters broken in pieces. Neither could any man tame him. They couldn't what? Control him. Who is he? What power he had that they couldn't control him? And always night and day, he was in the mountains and in the tombs, crying and cutting himself with stones. But when he saw Yahushua, af when he saw Yahushua afar off, he ran and worshipped him. He see what? He come to save him. Pay attention. How did he come and worship Yahushua? Because he recognized him. Pay attention. Many of the children of God or the sons of God or the Holy Seed are bound under Satan or caught or, and, or possessed on this earth or under the power of Satan. But if you are the spirit of the God, if you are one of his children, 
You will recognize the Son of God or the, or the prophets of God and you will run to them. For what salvation is soul? Pay attention. You know, shall say the Son of Man came to save that which was lost. He came for his brethren. He came for the Holy Seed of God. He came for the children. Pay attention. The children of God. And he ran and worshipped him. Just as the woman who was what? The, 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 who had the spirit of divination. She said what? She bowed down. And said these men are the sons of God. The prophets of God. Because she was a child of God. She recognized and she come to him for healing. Acts 16 and 14. Because what? They were, they, she came for healing. They come for healing. Because the Lord had opened their mind, Opened their minds. They, they, this one what? Opened their minds. And the next one was the diviner. They all come. They hear the word. And they come. They are children of God. Only my sheep hear my voice. Pay attention. Only the Holy Seed who bound here, who caught up here in all kind of evils, will return to the Most High God, will follow Him. He said, follow me. Keep them laws and the commandments to get released from the bondage of devils or being possessed by demons. Pay attention. And they cried with a loud voice. Back to Mark 5 and verse... Back to Mark 5 and verse... 6. But when he saw Yahushua far off, he ran and worshipped Him. He ran to Yahushua and bowed down. Pay attention. And cried with a loud voice and said, What have I to do with thee, Yahushua, thou son of the Most High God? He come and bowed down to Yahushua and then he said, What have I to do with you? Because there's two things happening in him. Go to Galatians 5 and 16. Something ran to Yahushua and something said, What have I to do with thee? One, one thing, some things that try to resist him. Galatians 5 and verse 16. This I say, this I say then, Paul, walk in the Spirit, uppercase as the Holy Spirit, keep them laws. And you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Keep the laws and you're not going to fulfill the lust of the flesh. Sin. You're going to stop following Satan because there's two things happening. For the flesh lusted against the spirit. The physical of you lusting in the midst of sin and abomination. Loving abominable lifestyles and things of this earth. Divination. Pay attention. You are going to be worshipping Satan. Satan has dominion on the flesh. The earthly, if you lead on your own earthly understanding or academia or thoughts or opinions or feelings... You are worshipping Satan. He has dominion over you. Pay attention. For the flesh lusted against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. The, if you are not the spirit of the Most High, this, this spirit is spelled, again with, uh, spelled with an uppercase S. It's the Holy Spirit. So if you keep the laws, the Holy Spirit has dominion over your fleshly carnal, carnal aspects. Pay attention. You're not going to feed sin. You're going to be changed or renew your mind and get away from sin. It's a battle going on. Pay attention. Two spirits. Pay attention. Satan, as spirit of Satan, as spirit of God, pay attention. You wanna, and what? And these are contrary the one to the other. That what Paul is saying. There's two things happening in you. In each and every one of us. Pay attention. There's two things in the, in the what? When I say each and every one of us. Each and every one of the children of God. Because they are children of God on this earth and they are children of Satan that have what? A natural spirit of Satan. They don't have the spirit of God. These are one spirit, spirit of Satan. Born of Satan, children of Satan. Born of fallen angels, pay attention. They are children of Satan as fallen angels. They have that one demonic spirit to just oppress sin, lasciviousness. That's all they know. Pay attention. That's all they do. That's all they love. But the children of God is two spirits. Pay attention. The spirit of God in them and the spirit of Satan that will take over power in them on this earth because we delivered into his hand for our sin or our, our, our violation of the Most High God laws or refusal to keep the laws of the Most High. And you will deliver them to, for punishment or the trial or the tribu fiery trial or the tribulation period. A period of what? Repentance. Pay attention. For the flesh lusted against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to the other. So that you cannot do the things that you would. You cannot do what you want to do or you feel to do. You're going to die. Your soul will be destroyed. Who is Satan? What kind of power he has and where did he originate from? Pay attention. But if you be led of the spirit, you are not under the law. Of what? Bondage or animal sacrifice. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envyings, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such like, of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. If you continue living these earthly lifestyles, it's lifestyles of hell, or the abominable lifestyles, after the doings of the land of Egypt, or after the do not the land of Canaan shall you not do the most I say leave them thing behind they are hidden lifestyles don't do them you cannot inherit the kingdom of, of God pay attention you have to do it walk after the spirit for the commandments of the laws of Mosai pay attention to escape the power of Satan 
Who is he? Go back to Acts, go, go back to Mark 5 and verse 7. And he cried with a loud voice and said, What have I to do with thee? Yahushua, thou son of the most high God, that's a madman. I adjure thee by God that thou torment me not. The demons are talking him not. But the man with the, the because he had the Holy Spirit, he had the Spirit, he's a child of God. He had the two spirits. Pay attention. One of God, one of the Satan, or many of Satan. And the one of God reacted when he saw the Yahushua. I recognize him and he ran to him and bowed down and worship. <laughs> then the demons could kick out. The demons started to say, What have I to do with you? Pay attention. Pay attention. They start to manifest. What have we to do with you? You come you come what? That thou torment me not. The demons say you come to torment me by teaching. What, did they, what was Yahushua teaching? The laws. Come back and keep the laws. Repent. Follow me. He said that thou torment me not. For he said unto him, Come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. Yahushua say what? Come out of the man, thou unclean spirit, or evil spirit, or devil. Pay attention. Because he, there was two spirits in him. Pay attention. He had the spirit. He's a child of God. But he was possessed with unclean spirits, or spirits of Satan, or devils. Pay attention. So the one spirit, the spirit of God, but re recognize Yahushua and run to him and bow down. And then the demons are the talk. Why you come here? Why you come to what? To cast us out. Pay attention. And he asked him, what is thy name? So why was he breaking the chains? Those demonic spirits on him. Pay attention. How could a physical man break iron chain? Metal, pay attention. So he said what? And he asked him, what is thy name? And he answered saying, my name is Legion, for we are many. Yahushua was talking to the devil, or that evil spirit. He said, what? My name is what? Legion. For we are many. He had a legion of demons on him. Pay attention. That demon said, my name is Legion. Pay attention. Spelled with uppercase M. My name is what? Legion. Spelled with uppercase L. Pay attention. What is a legion of de the devils? Being led by one. Pay attention. For we are many. And he besought him much that he should send them away out of the country. You see what? Yahushua, don't destroy us here. Pay attention. He said, send me. Be means what? They want to continue their reign on the earth. Send us away so we can go and possess somebody else. Pay attention. Don't destroy us. They understand who is Yahushua? Who is him? Pay attention. Now they were nigh unto the mountains, a great herd of swine feeding. And all the devils besought him, saying, Send us into the swine that we may enter into him. That one man had what? A legion of demons on him. Pay attention. Thousands. Let us. Am I making this up? Did I say thousands? Let's keep reading. And they say, send us into the herd of swine. And forthwith Yahushua gave them leave. And the unclean spirits went out and entered into the swine. And the herd ran violently down a steep place into the sea. They were about 2,000. 2,000 swines. How many demons was in that man? 2,000. They say about 2,000. Because they went into the whole swine. The whole herd went down into the, in the ocean. And choked in the sea. The Yahushua said, okay, come on to him. Go in the swine. And they thought they were going to live here. The Yahushua said, quick, go down. Psst, down in the wood. And they, go, they had to go. Destroy them. Pay attention. So that's just trying to show you something. What level of power Satan has? Pay attention. And they came to Yahushua. And sorry, and they that fed the swine fled and told it to the city and the country. And they went out to see what it was that was done. So they went and tell the people who saw the miracle. And they came to Yahushua and see him that was possessed with the devil and had the legion sitting and clothed and in his right mind. And they were afraid. They see the man that was breaking chains left, right, and center that nobody could have restrained. Crazy as hell. And what? He's sitting in his right mind. So he was what? Out of his mind, possessed by the devil. His mind was taken over by Satan. What happened to us on this earth? Revelation 12 and 9. What happened to us on this earth? Are we in our right mind? Revelation 12 and 9. Many of us believe we are. Revelation 12 and 9. And the great dragon was cast out from heaven. The, who? the great dragon, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceived the whole world. He deceived what? The whole world. Because the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, of the devil or Satan. Pay attention. He was cast out into the earth. He has dominion here. Pay attention. And his angels were cast out with him. Satan and his angels has dominion on this earth. Pay attention. And has deceived what? The whole world as the man was deceived. Pay attention. They didn't have a clue. He had a legion of demons on him. Pay attention. The people didn't understand. He was breaking chains. He was doing whatever. And they didn't even have a clue. What happened? They find him what? In his right mind. And clothed. He had one clothes. Well dressed. And in his right mind. Pay attention. And they were afraid. You grew up and we saw instances of this fellows went going crazy, going stark mad, running people down, chopping them, stabbing them, pay attention, crazy for years, 
and then one day, whatever happened, that person just flip, flip, and they come well dressed, shake, shower, never be pay attention. We call we, we, we refer to as vagrants or bums. But one day, well dressed, clean, haircut, pay attention, and well dressed and talking, writing in mind, like continuing from right where they left off, like normal. I need a little What happened? Demons possessed with devils. Pay attention. You didn't understand these things. Pay attention. You never understood it. The depths of it. The depths of Satan. What kind of power he have? Pay attention. And he was in his right mind. So of, many of us are what? In we are out of our mind, out of our skull, thinking normal. I could control him. I could control. Him. I could tame him. I could tame her. Pay attention. Many of us think we could tame him and we could tame her. Pay attention. I will leave that alone for another day. <laughs> many of us, brothers and sisters, think we could think. We could tame him or we could tame her. I could mold him and I could train I could train him. Pay attention. Many of us sisters, I could train him into what I want. Pay attention. Or I could mold him into what I want. Yeah, you think so. Go ahead. Why do we have many single mothers? You need to pay attention. Not promoting it or condoning it. Why are there so many baby mamas and baby mama dramas? Pay attention. Yeah, I could tame him. And what? Baby ma baby father number two, baby daddy none. Baby daddy one, baby daddy two, baby daddy three, baby, baby daddy four, baby daddy five. Yeah, I could tame him. You need to pay attention. Tame what? <laughs> because they didn't even understand it. The devil had deceived what? The whole world. And when you think you could deceive or you could tame or you could control, you function with a spirit of deceit still. A spirit of Satan. A spirit of deception. You have to renounce the hidden things of corrup corruption and not walk in craftiness or deceit the devil still have you pay attention once you can mold him or train him to what you want or hurt to watch what you want you're being deceived you've been taken by satan still pay attention you have any power pay attention you don't have a clue you're thinking you're smart and you're clever and you're cunning you've been led by satan still what power satan have satan's origin pay attention who is he what stranglehold that he have pay attention the other most i say caleb have wholly followed me Samuel, um, um, Caleb, Caleb and Joshua have wholly followed me. Other than that, I kill everything else on this earth. Pay attention. Ephesians 6, 11 and 12. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 11 and 12. Ephesians 6 and 11. Put on the whole armor of God that he may be able to withstand the wiles of the devil. Keep them commandments and laws. That's it, your armor. That you're going to be able to withstand the wiles or the cunning craftiness or the deception of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. It's not earthly mortals you're battling. That's what Paul is saying. You're not battling earthly mortals here. You're trapped here, but you're not battling mortals. You're not a man like yourself. I could tame him, I could tame her. No, it's not what you've seen in front of you. It's not men like yourself. What are you battling against? For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. But against principalities, you're battling principalities and against powers. Against who? Powers. Against the rulers of the darkness of this world. Against spiritual wickedness in high places. The principalities and the powers of evil. Pay attention. The principalities and the powers, the angels of evil. Pay attention. Of the wives of the devil, of craftiness, of deception. Pay attention. Satan's origin. Pay attention. He's the Ruler of the, the evil principalities and evil powers, or the powers of darkness. Pay attention. Now we have to say, follow me to escape the power of darkness. The rulers of darkness. Except you repent, you go to perish. Now we telling you, I came in hell to tell you, you're in hell. You're in hell. You've been delivered unto the power of Satan. Pay attention. He's just not a normal angel. He's the ruler of the principalities, evil principalities and evil powers. The evil powers of darkness, of sin and abomination. Pay attention. Job 9.24 The earth is given into the hands of the wicked, of Satan, or the evil principalities and evil powers, or the powers of darkness, or the rulers of the darkness of this world. The sinful evil angels. Evil angels. Satan and his evil angels. That's who you're battling here in this earth. The ones that were cast out. Matthew 13 and verse 19 When anyone heareth the word of the kingdom, and understand it not, then come at the wicked one, and catch it away that which was sown in his heart. This is he which receiveth seed by the wayside. So when you hear the laws being taught and you understand, you didn't get it, I didn't get it, the devil come and what? Snatch away your understanding. In other words, he come and blind you. The God of this world had blinded the minds of them that believe not. 
if the gospel be hid, Second Corinthians 4 and 3, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 3 and 4. If our gospel be hid, it's hid to them that are lost, in whom the God of this world, Satan, or the wicked one, had blinded the minds of them that believe not. He clouded their understanding because they don't fully believe. Chapter verse 37, reading 37 to 41. He answered and said unto them, He that soweth the good seed is the Son of Man, because they say, Yahushua, reveal us the parable of the, the store, the wheat and the tears. He said what? He answered and said unto them, He that soweth the good seed is the wheat, is the Son of God. He said, the wheat is what? I sow or I plant. They are my offspring. Pay attention to the parable. The field is the world. The good seed are the children of the kingdom. They are the children of God, or sons of God, or the holy seed. But the tares are the children of the wicked one. They are children of God on this earth, and they are children of the wicked one on this earth. Two different things. One with one spirit, or malevolent spirit, or spirits of darkness, or the rulers of the darkness of the world, or the rulers of the principalities and powers. With their this evil spirit, Satan has fallen angels, and the evil spirit, and their children, they made children on this earth. They were sowed on this earth. They have that one spirit of malice, of sin, of abomination, evil. Pay attention. You need to pay attention. That's all you know. And they are what? So children that of the sons of the good seed, or the the, the say what? The field is the world, and the good seed is the children of the kingdom, which the son of man sow. They are my children. They have what? The spirit of God. Pay attention. But the spirit of Satan is what? Ruling over them here in this world. Pay attention. These are the ones that Galatians 5 and 16 talking about. The flesh battling against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. Pay attention. God's one lost in to do the things of this world and one lost to keep the laws of God. So the two spirits are battling for your soul. So Satan will jump, not jump and try to overwhelm the children of God. That Yahushua saw on this earth. Pay attention. The enemy that sowed them, that sowed who? The children of the wicked one that have that evil spirit in them, is the devil. That's why you say, after the doings of the land of Egypt shall you not do, and after the doings of the land of Canaan shall you not do. Don't do their ordinances. Their ordinances is sin and abomination, Leviticus 18 and 2. Don't follow them. Pay attention. The harvest is the end of the world, and the reapers are the angels. The angels come in to reap between the children of God and the children of Satan. You know, we just say there's two things happening here on this earth. As therefore the tears are gathered and burned in the fire, so shall it be in the end of this world. The tears or the children of Satan are going to be burned in the fire. Pay attention. The Son of Man shall send forth his angels, and they shall gather out of his kingdom all things that offend and them that do iniquity. We always say, this is my, uh, my creation, but what it's unleashed to Satan. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked, but I come in to take it back. Take it back, my kingdom, and establish the kingdom of Yahushua. Pay attention. And he shall gather all things that offend and them that do iniquity. All who in the midst of sin or abomination or fornication or live in these lifestyles, they are going to die. Pay attention. They're going to be burned or tormented in the lake of fire. He said they're going to be burned in the fire. And shall cast them into a furnace of fire. You are going to be burned in the pit of torment, your soul. When they say you, they're not talking about your physical body. Everybody's, many of us are going to die and go on right away. But the soul lives on to be judged in the last day. Pay attention. Everyone will be raised up and judged. Pay attention. And shall cast them into a furnace of fire. You shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. Because it's a pit of torment for a reason. It's called the lake of fire and brimstone or the pit of torment for a reason. The torment of your soul for violation of God's laws and the torment of the natural train of Satan, the natural wicked. Pay attention. There's no salvation for them because they cannot have the spirit of God on them. They are born with that spirit, spirit of malice, spirit of the rulers of the darkness, spirit of Satan and his fallen angels, evil spirits, nefarious spirits, Spirits of devils or evil angels, pay attention. Or oh, that's what they have. They're born with malevolent spirits, and what they cannot get the kingdom of, of Yahushua because they are natural offenders of the law. They cannot keep the law. It was never given to them. Their spirit cannot keep it. Pay attention. But who the children of Israel or the children of God who following them or doing their lifestyles or iniquity or abominable lifestyles will go into the pit of torment with them. Who don't change? Who don't follow me? Who don't repent? Except you repent, you're going to perish. That we're telling you. You will be tormented and shall cast them into a furnace of fire. They shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. Why would he be wailing and gnashing of teeth and bawling and screaming? Because you are feeling the torment. Isaiah 66, 24. And they shall go forth, the men who have overcome, and look upon the bodies of the men that have transgressed against me. For their worms shall not die, neither shall the fire be quenched. In the pit of torment or the lake of fire. Pay attention. They will be feeling every iota pain. Pay attention. Back to Matthew 13, 
and verse 43, Then shall the righteous shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of their father. Who are they to hear? Let them hear. The ones who kept the law, who followed him, who obeyed him, they're going to shine forth in the kingdom of God. Pay attention. Who have overcome the wicked one. Pay attention. The spirit overcome the flesh or lust. Pay attention. So shall it be in the end of this world. The angels shall come forth and sever the wicked from among the just. The wicked or the children of the wicked one, Satan's progeny on this earth from the what? Among the just, the children, the children of God. Pay attention. That of Yahushua lineage or seed that he came down and made in his, his image and likeness from Adam holy seed. Pay attention. They are here. We are here still on this earth. Pay attention. That's the one who could return to him and escape. What? The power of Satan. Ezekiel 28, I read in one down. The word of the Lord came again unto me, saying, Son of man, say unto the prince of Tyrus, Thus said the Lord God, or the prince over Tyrus, pay attention, is all the Satan over them. Over each kingdom on this earth that dominating is a prince over them. Satan, pay attention, Satan appointing rulers over them. Say unto the prince of Tyrus, Thus said the Lord God, because thine heart is lifted up, and they become what? Prideful, full of pride. Thus he said what? They are the children of pride. Pay attention. And thou hast said, in, and thou hast said I am a God. It's I am a what? G-O-D, spell with the uppercase G. Pay attention, they say what? We is like the Most High. And I sit in the seat of God. They become prideful and say, I am a God or I am God. Who will bring me down? Not understand is the most I give you power, the most I give you money, the most I give you wealth, the most I give you military power and, arm, and arms. The most I is the one behind it all to punish my children for violation. Pay attention. And then you become what? Prideful and say, I am doing it. Because the most I is deceiving you behind to take you out. Pay attention. He's deceiving you to take you out or destroy you. As he has taken out every beast kingdom, sending what? Holy angels to take them out. Pay attention. Because Yahushua is about to what? We turn with the heavenly host, Michael and the heavenly host and righteous angels, to take out this final beast kingdom to establish Yahushua kingdom. Pay attention. I sit in the seat of God, in the midst of the seas, yet thou art a man and not God. Though thou set thine heart as the heart of God. And most I say, you're just a man. Pay attention. But why? You're setting the mind as the mind of God. Behold, thou art wiser than Daniel. There is no secret that they can hide from thee. Satan, the most high, the most high God says, these prince or these kingdoms or Satan and his fallen angels have what? Satan is wiser than Daniel. Wiser than who? Earthly men. Daniel was a child of God. One of the wisest men that walk on this earth. The most, the most I revealed mysteries to Daniel. But the most I say, that Satan is wiser than him. Pay attention. What is he talking about? Because Daniel is born a little older than angels on this earth. So Satan is what? He was cast out from heaven, but he's still wiser than Daniel. Craftier. Pay attention in deceit, deception, sin. Daniel knew the law. Satan knew good and evil. And the most I take away the ability of good from him. So he's doing what? Manifesting pure evil on this earth. So he's what? Wiser than Daniel in evil on this earth. Deceit and deception and sin and abomination is deceiving him behind on the next level. That's why he could take anything and make anything and make money from it. Pay attention from nothing to a millionaire to a trillionaire. Pay attention to a billionaire from nothing. Pay attention. What spirit you're functioning in and who's blessing you with the riches? Pay attention. Jump to verse 13. Thou hast been in Eden, the garden of God. The most I say you what? Satan was in Eden. In who? Eden, the garden of Eden. Tempting Eve and Adam. Pay attention. Who is he to be in the garden of God? The garden of Eden was set up where? The most I said, I made that world for Adam. Adam was keeping the law, was law and order, was a lawful, lawful garden in the earth in my creation. And Satan was in there. Who is he that has power to be in the garden of God? Pay attention. Thou art the anointed cherub that covered. He was what? The anointed cherub. He is the anointed over the cherub. Pay attention. What do you mean anointed? Above the cherub. He was in charge of the cherub. Who is this cherub? Pay attention. And I have set thee so. The most I say, I set him as anointed over the cherub. Thou was upon the holy mountain of God. He was where? In the holy mountain. Pay attention. In the wood, in the garden of God. In the garden of Eden. Thou was walked up and down in the midst of the stones of fire. Thou was perfect in thy ways from the day that thou was created. Till iniquity was found in thee. The most I say, Satan was what? Perfect. He was created as the anointed cherub above. Ruler of the cherubs. Pay attention. We're going to find out who's the cherubs and where. Satan's origin. Where he came from. Pay attention. And what power that Moses said. You always say you cannot overpower him here. On your own. Follow me. You have to do what I command you to do. 
because he was there up in rank, the most I created him, set him in power and authority over the cherubs. Pay attention. But he went into sin, and the most I say, there, and thou hast sinned, and therefore I will cast thee as profane out of the mountain of God. That's where you get cast out of the, the mountain, out of the, out of the garden. Cast out of, of rulership. Cast out into the earth from heaven. And I will destroy thee, O covering cherub. He's the what? Covering cherub or anointed cherub. It's not, you see, you're not be wrestling not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this earth. Pay attention. He's exercising full sin, full abomination, full evil on this earth. Pay attention. Is that no low-level angel? Pay attention. Thine heart was lifted up your mind, became prideful because of thy beauty, and thou hast corrupted thy wisdom by reason of thy brightness. By what brightness? He was not a regular angel. I will cast thee to the ground, and I will lay thee before kings, that they may behold thee. He was never a low-level angel. He had power, anointed cherub, above many angels. Pay attention. Go to Genesis chapter 3. Genesis chapter 2, because he said, the anointed cherub, and the what? The covering cherub, O covering cherub, and he had anointed cherub in Ezekiel 28 and 14, and 28, 16, O covering cherub. He was just not a normal angel. Verse 1, now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field. He was more crafty or cunning or wiser than Daniel. Pay attention. So he was what? Wiser than Eve. Pay attention. Or more than any beast of the field, which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, had God said, You shall not eat of every tree of the garden? He deceived her behind. Pay attention. He deceived her. And the serpent said unto the woman, You shall not surely die. He deceived her. He is not normal. Pay attention. For God doth know that in the day he eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened and you shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. He taught her evil because he knew what? Good and evil. He was an angel. He was the anointed angel. Anointed cherub. He was the anointed cherub of over what former angels? Pay attention. Jump to verse 13. And the Lord God said unto the woman, What is this that thou hast done? And the woman said, The serpent beguiled me and I did eat. The anointed cherub or the covering cherub deceived me because he was in the mountain of God and I did what? Partake of what he taught me. Evil. And the Lord God said unto the serpent, Judgment for him now, because thou hast done this, Thou art cursed above all the cattle from being anointed cherub or the covering cherub. You cursed are casting down, taking your authority, your power. Pay attention, your power over good. Now you're going to do what? Evil. Pay attention. And upon thy belly shalt thou go, and thus shalt thou eat the rest all the days of thy life. That was his judgment. That was his judgment. Jump to verse 15. And I will put enmity between these, the serpent and the woman, and thy seed and her seed. Between him and the children of God, and the children of God progeny, and his, him and his progeny. So he's having, he, he what? He lay a seed on the earth. Children of the wicked one. That we are which we are talking about in Matthew 13. The children of the kingdom, I saw the good seed, the, the tares, and the wheat. Yeah, which I say, I saw the good seed, which is the wheat, and the children of the wicked one, or the tares, are the children of the wicked one, children of Satan. Pay attention. The, 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 the enemy that sowed them is the devil. The enemy that what? Sowed them or planted them on this earth is the devil. Pay attention. Between thy seed, Satan plant what? A seed on the earth. Pay attention, there's a lineage on the earth. And her seed, the children of God, have a lineage on the earth. Two different things, the tears and the wheat. From the beginning. Yeah, we just say, you can put enmity between them. The most I say, enmity or friction between them. Because there's two different things on this earth. One no does evil, and one no, one no good, and being possessed by the devil to do evil. Or being seduced by the devil to do evil. As he seduced Eve to do what? Evil. Pay attention. Who is he? What kind of power he have? He's the anointed cherub or covering cherub. Keep reading. What is this talking about? Jump to verse 21. 22. And the Lord God said on, Jump to verse 22. And the Lord God said, Behold, the man Adam is become like one of us to know good and evil because he gave Adam the law. Good. And Satan came and taught him what? Evil. Because Satan knew good and evil as an angel of God. Pay attention. And now lest he, Adam, put forth his hand and take also the tree of life and eat and live forever. Now he can go, if he know good and evil, he's become like an angel to know to do it. The tree of life talking about the tree of immortality. Adam will become an immortal. Pay attention, but he will be corrupted because the most I didn't anoint him the right way. The most I didn't draw him in. Pay attention. So the most I said, shut him down. Pay attention. He didn't obey me to get to that next step, that next phase. Therefore the Lord God sent him forth from the garden. Adam, he got cast out of the garden of Eden. 
to till the ground from whence he was taken. So he went from a spiritual realm, a lawful realm, a, law, a realm of law and order, into hell, into the earth. Pay attention. And Satan was what has dominion over him. So he drove out the man and he placed at the east of the garden of Eden, cherubims, as Satan was, you, uh, you were in the mountain of the Lord. That was in the garden of God. Satan was there with Adam and they were both cast into the earth. Pay attention. So Satan had what? He's wiser than Daniel. So he's wiser than Adam now on the earth. Pay attention. He was wiser than him in the garden. So he take him out. If Adam was wiser than him, he would have never been taken out. If Eve was wiser than him, she would have never been taken out. So he, the, the most I say, he's not normal. Pay attention. So he drove out the man and he placed at the east of the garden of Eden cherubims and a flaming sword which turned every way to keep the way of the tree of life. He placed what? Cherubims. Go back to Ezekiel 28 and 14. Thou art the anointed cherub that covered. Satan was the what? Anointed over the cherubims. Pay attention. These level of protective angels. Pay attention. He was the head of them. That was O covering cherub. He was the head of these cherubims, these guardian angels, protecting angels. Pay attention. That we say, don't mess with him. You just say, follow me. You can't escape him. Pay attention. He lost the power of law, but he has the power of evil. Pay attention. He has the power of evil, full power of evil. A deception and sin and abomination. Go to Genesis 2 and 17. Genesis chapter 2 verse 17. But the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day, for in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. That was, that was the commandment he gave Adam and Adam and the garden. Don't partake of that man. He is a, he is a knowledge. He's not talking about a fruit tree. Is the man, the tree. I see men as trees. Mark 8.24. That man that knows good and evil. Satan was the anointed cherub that was in the garden of Eden. Pay attention. That was in the garden of God. He's the covering cherub. Head of them angels, them guardian angels. Pay attention. And he deceived Adam. He said, don't learn nothing from him. Go to Ezekiel chapter 1. Because he said that the other anointed cherub. Ezekiel 1. And read verse 5. And read verse 4. And I looked and behold, a whirlwind came out of the north, a great cloud, and a fire enfolding itself, and a brightness was about it. And out of the midst thereof, as the color of amber, out of the midst of the fire. So Ezekiel, what saw the Lord? Also out of the midst thereof came the likeness of four living creatures. Of what? Four living creatures, and this was their parents. They had the likeness of a man, and everyone had four faces, and everyone had four wings. And their feet were straight feet, and the sole of their feet was like the sole of a calf's foot. And they sparkled like the color of burnished brass. Dark, dark, dark brown. Pay attention. Burnished brass. Dark brown. And Yahushua burnt in a furnace. Pay attention. These four living creatures. Jump to verse 13. As for the likeness of the living creatures, their appearance was like burning coals of fire and like the appearance of lamps. He went up and down among the living creatures, and the fire was bright, and out of the fire went forth lightning. And the living creatures ran and returned as the appearance of a flash of lightning. Now as I beheld the living creatures, behold, one wheel upon the earth by the living creatures with his four faces. And when the living creatures went, the wheels went by them. And when the living creatures were lifted up from the earth, the wheels were lifted up. And with us, the spirit was the spirit was to go, they went. Tither was the spirit to go. And the wheels were lifted up over against them, for the spirit of the living creatures was in the wheels. So this is what the appearance of the Most High God. Pay attention. The Most High God and His protection. Pay attention. His host. When those went, these went. And when those stood, those stood. Because they are, they are what? Protecting the Most High, the cherub. Pay attention. They are protected angels. Pay attention. The wheels were lifted up over against them, for the spirit of the living creature was in the wheels. And the likeness of the firmament upon the heads of the living creature was as the color of the terrible crystal, stretched forth over their heads. And when they went, I heard the noise of their wings, like the noise of great waters, and the voice of Almighty, the voice of speech, as the noise of an host. When they stood, they let down their wings, and there was a voice from the firmament that was over their heads, when they stood, and had let down their wings. And above the firmament that was over their heads was the likeness of a throne. Over what? Their heads. So they were protecting the throne of the Most High. Pay attention. They were protecting the throne of the Most High. 
as the appearance of a sapphire stone and upon the likeness of the throne was the likeness of the appearance of a man above upon them, the throne of Yahushua, father and son. Pay attention. And I saw as the color of amber, as the appearance of fire about within, within it, from the appearance of his loins upwards, and from the appearance of his loins even downwards. I saw as it were the appearance of fire, and it had brightness round about, as the appearance of the bow that it was that is in the clouds, in the day of rain. So was the appearance of the brightness round about, about the throne. This was the appearance of the likeness of the glory of the Lord. And when I saw it, I fell upon my face, and I heard a voice of one that speak. So the four cherubs was what? God in the throne of God. Pay attention. The glory of the Lord. Pay attention. Pay. So what he tell, he say easy, um, in Ezekiel 28 and, and 4, 14, Ezekiel 28 14, Thou art the anointed cherub. Satan is who? The anointed cherub. Or the covering cherub. He was over them. These ones that were protecting the throne of the Mosai. Pay attention. Who is Satan? He, is one, he had authority over these four gods. The four beasts. The four beasts before the throne. The, the anointed cherubs. Pay attention. Who is he? That he answers straight to the most directly to the most side. He has access to the most side. Pay attention. Revelation 4 and 6. Revelation chapter 4 verse 6. Revelation 4 and 6. And before the throne there was a sea of glass like unto crystal. And in the midst of the throne and round about the throne were four beasts full of eyes before and behind. We just read it in Ezekiel 1. They had eyes, faces, four faces. Seen all around, pay attention. The four beasts over what? Under the throne of the Mosai, protecting that throne. That nobody come past. Pay attention. Anything come near, die. Pay attention. You see, Satan was what? The anointed cherub over them. Pay attention. That's who he put in the Garden of Eden, Genesis 3 24. He put what? A cherub. He put cherub. The cherubim. Pay attention. Guard that garden. No man come there. They'll get put to death. Pay attention. The different diverse functions of angels and the different classifications of angels for different roles and different purposes. Revelation 5, 6 to 14. Revelation 5, read 6 to 14. And I beheld and lo, in the midst of the throne and of the four beasts and in the midst of the elders stood a lamb, Yahushua, as it had been slain, the lamb of God that take away the sin of the world, John 1, 29. As it had been what slain, he came on the earth and died and resurrected. Having seven, horn, having, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God, sent forth into all the earth. And he came and took the book out of the right hand of him that sat on the, upon the throne. Yahushua went to the Father, the Mosai, and take the book. Pay attention. And when he had taken the book, the four beasts and the four and twenty elders fell down before the Lamb, having every one of them harps and golden vials full of orders, which are the prayers of the saints. They are but protective forces of the Mosai. Pay attention. The final line of defense before the Mosai. They were right under the throne, protecting the throne. And the four and twelve tailors with them, pay attention. And they sung a new song saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof, for thou wast slain and hast redeemed us to God by thy blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation. They said what? Mosai, you have redeemed Yahushua. Yahushua, you have redeemed us to God by thy blood, dying the Lamb of God that take away the sin of the world, out of every kindred, where we dwelling in the diaspora, and tongue, where we dwelling in the diaspora, in speaking multiple languages, the languages of the heathen, where we born, the turn of God he came for, the saints he came for, and people and nation, because the Most I say, I was cut here among all nations, you tell me 427. I was cut here among all nations, you tell me 427. And the Lord has scattered you among the nations, and he shall be left few in number among the heathen, whether the Lord shall lead you. Scatter us into the four, four corners of the earth, speaking all languages and nations and tongues and peoples. The children of God. Yahushua came to what? Redeem the children of God. The Son of Man is come to save that which was lost. Matthew 18, 11. Matthew 15, 24. He answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel, of the children of God, of the saints. Pay attention. Adam's holy seed, children of God, the children of Israel that belong to the Mosai. Pay attention. Then I come forth. Redeem us to God by thy blood, Revelation 5 and 9. By thy blood, dying on the, on the cross, that we say, you, if you burn your grace and faith, if you don't want to do it, what, what he teach you? Follow me, or you burn your grace and faith. You're going to die. You've been deceived by Satan. If you don't follow me, by thy blood, his shedding his blood is what's going to buy us back from being under the power of Satan, the anointed cherub. 
pay attention to the covering cherub. He is high level demon. He is not low level. He is not a simple force. Pay attention, he is wiser than Daniel. Pay attention in spiritual power and might. Pay attention. And has made us unto our God, kings and priests, the heavenly host, the four, uh, the four beasts, and the four and twenty-four elders. Say what? You redeemed us to our God and made, made us what? Kings and priests, a kingdom of priests. And we shall reign on earth. We come to take the earth. Pay attention. The four beasts and the 20, 24 elders say what? We come to take the earth. We come to take the earth. Rule the earth. Take it back from the power of Satan. Pay attention. It was a loan to him to, power, to punish us and our brethren for sin. Where did Elijah go? Where did Enoch go? Where did Ezra go? Pay attention. These men were taken up. Paul said, I knew a man of many years ago. He was taken up. Their men were taken up from the earth. And many who repent and keep the laws, many who kept the law, didn't violate, didn't abuse the sacrificial law, but they kept the law, they kept the law, they kept the law. The delicious, they kept the law, they kept the law. Pay attention. They wasn't violating the law sacrificing. They were not, they were not willful sinners. They were striving to keep the law. And if they slip, they use they utilize the law to overcome the sin. That we are say, except you repent, you're gonna perish. They have to overcome your sin or transgression or violation in this life to get extricated out of here, out of hell. From under the power of Satan. Isaiah 6, read 1. And I beheld and I heard the voice of many angels wrong about the throne, and the beasts and the elders wrong about the throne of God, and the number of them was ten thousand times ten thousand and thousands of thousands. Holy angels, saying with a loud voice, Word is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. And every creature which is in heaven and on the earth, and under the earth, and such as are in the sea, and all that are in them, who I say, blessing and honor and glory, and power be unto him that sitteth upon the throne, the Most High, and unto the Lamb forever, the Father and the Son, and ever. And the four beasts said, Amen. And the four and twenty elders fell down and worshipped him that liveth forever. Pay attention, the cherubs. Go to Isaiah 6. Isaiah 6. And 1. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw also the Lord sitting upon a throne, high and lifted up, and his train lifted, and his train filled the temple. Isaiah said, I saw the Lord on his throne in the heavenly realm. How could Isaiah, a mortal man, see the, the most high? Above it stood the seraphims. Each one had six wings, with twenty covered his face, and with twenty covered his feet, and twenty did fly. So the seraphims, cherubims, pay attention, his high level angels. Pay attention. So Isaiah said, I saw them. Then flew one of the seraphim. Unto me, having a life coal in his hand. So this, there are angels, high level angels of different degrees that have different functions to carry out. The most I send that one, the seraphim, to Isaiah. Go to him and say, What thine iniquity is pardoned, and thy sin is purged. Pay attention, you have overcome, and we come to you to deal with you. Pay attention. And he laid it upon my mouth and said, Lo, this hath touched thy lips, and thy iniquity is taken away, and thy sin is purged. So the Holy Spirit of God will come in you and dwell in you. Pay attention. So the most I have to pardon your iniquity, purge your sin, and then he come and dwell in you. The Spirit of Father and the Spirit of Son. Holy Spirit. Psalms 18, 6 to 10. Psalms 18, 6 to 10. In my distress I called upon the Lord and cried unto my God. He heard my voice out of his temple, and my cry came before him, even into his ears. Then the earth shook and trembled. So David said, when I cried unto the Lord, something happened. The earth shook and trembled. He's coming. Pay attention. Once you keep the laws, he's coming to defend you or fight for you. Pay attention. The earth shook and trembled. The foundations also of the hills moved and were shaken because he was wrought. The most I got mad. Pay attention for the oppression of his people. When they returned to him, he coming for destruction. There went up a smoke out of his nostrils and fire out of his mouth devoured. Coals were kindled by it. The most I is in fury. Coming. When you return to him, he bowed the heavens also and came down. He come for destruction and death. Pay attention. And darkness was under his feet. He's coming for destruction and death. Once you return, with Israelites return to his laws. Pay attention. And he rode upon a cherub and did fly. He come with who? The cherub. These protecting angels. Pay attention. That would always be the chariots of God. Pay attention. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and cried unto my God. He heard my voice out of his temple and my cry came before him. Even unto his ears. Then the earth shook and trembled. So when you cry unto the Lord, when you keep the laws, David said, the earth shook and trembled. The Lord is coming. He's coming to fight for you. The foundations also of the hills moved and were shaken because he was wrought. He's mad for the oppression of his people. But when they returned to his laws and cry out, 
He is coming. There went up a smoke out of his nostrils and fire out of his mouth devoured. Coals were kindled by it. He came to kill and destroy for destruction. He bowed the heavens also and came down. And darkness was under, the, under his feet. He coming to kill, death and destruction. Once we return to the Lord, the Lord will fight for thee. Strive for the truth unto death and the Lord will fight for thee. Sirach chapter... Sirach chapter... Sirach chapter 4 and verse... Sirach 4 and 28. Strive for the truth unto death and the Lord shall fight for thee. Keep them commandments and laws and statutes. That's the truth. And the Lord shall what? Fight for thee. He's coming to fight. Pay attention. David was keeping the Lord and he cried on the most high and he bowed the heavens and come down. Death and mayhem. Pay attention. He said, touch not my anointed. David was what? An anointed of the Lord. And do my prophets no harm. Pay attention. Psalms 18 and verse 9. He bowed the heavens also and came down and darkness was under his feet. And he rode upon a cherub and did fly. These cherubs, pay attention. The four beasts come to protect him. The protective forces of the most high. Pay attention. Ezekiel 10 and 1. Then I look and behold, in the firmament that was above the head of the cherubims, the firmament that was above the head of the cherubims, they appeared over them as it were a sapphire stone, as the appearance of the likeness of a throne. So they are what? The next level below the, the throne of the Mosai. Pay attention. So above that is the Mosai, the Mosai dwelling. So they are the line of defense, last line of defense. Between anything and the Mosai. Anything going to the have to pass through them. Pay attention. That spiritual force. Pay attention. And what the throne is above them. And he spake unto the man clothed with linen and said, Go in between the wheels, even under the cherub, and fill thine hand with the coals of fire from between the cherubims and scatter them over the city. So the angel what the, this cherub, cherub kind out what? He said what? The man with the linen, that angel get authority to go between the cherubims. Go, he get authority to pass. Go and do what? Scatter what? The, the, cloak, the coals. Go and scatter coals over the city. Bring the destruction of Jerusalem. Pay attention. So they have to get authority, permission to pass. Pay attention. Now the cherubim stood on the, stood on the right side of the house when the man went in, and the cloud filled the inner court. Then the glory of the Lord went up from the cherub and stood over the threshold of the house, the, 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 the house of his, the, the land of Israel, the temple. And the house was filled with the cloud, and the court was full of the brightness of the Lord's glory. So the Mosai appeared in the, in the temple. So this is what he's talking about. Jump to verse. is the inner court and the outer court. And the sound of the cherubim's wings was heard even to the outer court, as the voice of the Almighty, when he speaketh. Um, jump to verse 18. Then the glory of the Lord departed from off the threshold of the house, and stood over the cherubims. He left the temple and went over the cherubims. And the cherubims lifted up their wings and mounted up from the earth in my sight. As you can see, they left the earth in his sight. He saw it. He saw it. And when they went out, the wheels were also beside them. And everyone stood in the door of the east gate of the Lord's house, and the glory of the God of Israel was over them above. This is the living creature that I saw under the God of Israel by the river Chiba. And I knew that they were the cherubims. That was Ezekiel 1. You see, the same thing I saw, I saw them again. When I was at the river Chiba in, in, in the captivity. In Babylon. You see what? I saw it. He saw them again. Pay attention. So the cherubim, they are what? Under the throne. Pay attention. Protecting the Mosai. When he's in heaven, when he come on earth. Pay attention. They are, the, they are guardian angels or protective angels of the Mosai. So Satan was what? The anointed. This is why I'm going here to cover to show you. Satan was who? The anointed cherub. Satan's origin. He was what? The anointed cherub. Over them. The head of these guards. Pay attention. So the four beasts are what? The cherubs. The cherubims. Pay attention. The living creature. The four beasts. That we're talking about in Revelation um, Revelation 5. The four beasts and the four and twenty elders. They are, they are what? They are the cherubims. This is what we're establishing right here. The living creature. He said, the cherubims I saw is the four beasts. He described them as four beasts. They were the cherubims. Everyone had four faces apiece and everyone had four wings. And the likeness of the man was under the wings. Just as he identified them in Ezekiel 1 here, in Revelation 5 and 6, they had the same features. Four faces, four wings. Pay, pay attention. It's the, the, the living creatures or the cherubims, or the four beasts. Satan was held over them. 
Genesis 2, 24. So he drove out the man, Adam, and he placed at the east of the Garden of Eden cherubims to your attention on a flaming sword. That's what he's talking about. They are what? Protecting Adam from getting the tree of life. So the Mosai kicked him out. Pay attention. Satan was head over them. That way he was in the what? In the Garden of God. Pay attention. That was the anointed cherub. That was in the Garden of God. Ezekiel 28 and 14. Protective forces. Till the iniquity was found in him and he lost, he was kicked out from the cherub. Pay attention and give him a dominion on the earth. To dominate Adam since he seduced Adam because iniquity was found in him. We are wrestling not against flesh and blood. It's not a normal angel he wrestling against. It's not a, a low level angel he wrestling against. He has the inner workings of the most I pay, pay, He knows a lot. Pay attention. Other words. Why are they prospering on the earth? Why is this trend prospering on this earth? On a level, pay attention. A next level. He's not a normal angel. He's not a regular being. Now we just say, follow me to escape him. That's why he had to come and manifest on earth in hell here to tell the children of Israel. Okay, we put, we put you under his, his power for sin. But this is how we escape. Follow me. Keep them commandments. Keep them laws for your good. Otherwise, he's going to destroy your soul. That's his task. That's his assignment. Zechariah 3 and 1. And he showed me Joshua the high priest standing before the angel of the Lord and Satan standing at his right hand to resist him. What power does Satan have to be in the presence of the Lord? Pay attention. Joshua about, the most I about to anoint Joshua and Satan standing what? At Joshua's right hand in the presence of the Lord to resist him. Who is he? Satan's origin. He is the anointed cherub. He has power on the next level. So even if he casts down, he is still he, he, he is what? reporting directly to the Lord. Pay attention. What power does he have? Power of evil. Punish, punish them, punish them, punish them. And then to come and tell me what they're doing. He's accused of the brethren. Pay attention. Whether they obey me or whether they violate me. He was standing to resist Joshua to make Joshua get killed. And the Lord said unto Satan, The Lord rebuked thee, O Satan. Even the Lord that had chosen Jerusalem rebuked the Moses said, get away from him. Is not this a brand plucked out of the fire? The Moses said, Joshua, Joshua is a brand, one of the high level angels. A brand plucked out from this earth, from going down to the what? Pit of torment or the lake of fire. He got plucked out from the fire, from going down to the pit of torment. From going to the destruction of his soul or torment. He repents and he keeps the laws. Pay attention and Satan was still accusing him. He was going to the Lord. Satan talking to who? The Lord, the Moses directly. Pay attention. He said that what the anointed cherub or the covering cherub. You lost your power in heaven, but you have dominion of sin. Pay attention to tempt and try. Put us through a fiery trial or a battle of sin to overcome sin and lust and abomination. Pay attention. Go to Job 1. Because Satan what? In the presence of the Lord. Job 1 and verse 6. Now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord and Satan came also among them. What power does he have? Satan's origin. He's the anointed cherub. He came to. The, the sons of God come to report. As Joshua went to. As a son of God. To report. Pay attention to the most I to anoint him. Pay attention. To anoint them. These are the ones who have overcome their sin. And in the presence of the Lord. To be, to be anointed or crowned. That's the sons of God's report is, is talking about. Pay attention. And Satan came among them to what? Resist him as Joshua. From getting their king or the crown of glory. From being redeemed from the earth. As Revelation 5 and 6 is talking about. Revelation 5 and that was redeemed us unto our brethren. Revelation 5 and verse 9. And they sung a new song, and they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book, Yahushua, and to open the seal thereof, for thou wast slain, the Lamb of God, that take away the sin of the world, John 1 29, by thy blood, and has redeemed us by thy blood to God, by thy blood, out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation. The what brands, the brands, the throne of God, the sons of God, the holy seed. The elect, the saints, who are going to overcome their sin and be what? Rewarded or become brands plucked out from the fire, from going out to the pit of torment or the lake of fire, or the destruction of his soul. Back to Job 1 and 6. And there was a day when the sons of God, who overcome, who overcome, came to present themselves before the Lord. And Satan came also among them. These devils and his angels come and sit. It's the sons of God who on this earth, Adam's holy seed, who have overcome their sins and been rewarded by the Most High. Pay attention. Being rewarded of their place in the kingdom. And Satan doing what? Coming to resist them. Make sure they don't get out. Pay attention. And Satan came also among them. And the Lord said unto Satan, Conversation. Whence comest thou? Satan, where you come from? Then Satan answered the Lord. So who is Satan that have power to be conversing with the Most High to deny the children of Israel and overcome their sin here? He is the anointed cherub. He was high level, close to the Most High. Pay attention. 
and a power that a level of power that you cannot comprehend. He was not no low, low level angel. He tried to take the, the power the most that he wanted. I want your glory. I want to be you. I want to be God. Pay attention. That way he was what, cut off. Pay attention. But he had this power of persuasion of, of sin. Full power. And Musa he said, go and do my wickedness. Pay attention. Punish evil doers. Pay attention. And deceive them that don't want to obey me. Pay attention. Delude them into thinking they're following me when they don't want to obey me. He's doing exercise in his full authority and power. So he has a con he has access to the Mosai. And the Lord said unto Satan, Has thou considered my servant Job? Who is he? Did you consider the children of Israel? That's what the parable is about. And the Lord said unto Satan, Behold, verse 12, Job 1 and 12, Behold, all that he had is in thy power. The Mosai says, What? All that Job have, all the children of Israel have, is in your power. You have dominion on this earth to do evil. So who is he? The anointed cherub. Pay attention or the covering cherub. High level of the protective forces of the Mosai. The inner circle. Last line of defense to get to the throne of God. He was head over them. Pay attention. The anointed cherub. Or the four beasts. He was the head over them. <laughs> you need to pay attention. Why is it only Yahusha could take him out? Pay attention. Or you should say, I come in hell and tell you, this is how you escape him. <laughs> you're not getting out of here. Unless you follow me. All you brothers and sisters, you know, you don't understand. I mean, prideful, you are going to die right here. That's why we're here warning you. You are going to burn right here. Your soul will be destroyed right here. Except you follow. Thus said the Lord. Pay attention. He has deceived you into becoming full of pride and thinking you could do it on your own. We are the men of the Lord and He come to save us all. And when we go to the land, and when we go to when we go to the land of Ham, and when we go to Jerusalem, and we, pride, pride, pride. The most I say, bow down and do what I command you to do. You have to purge sin, purge every dross, purge every evil, purge every nefarious lifestyle, every sinful lifestyle, every abominable lifestyle, eating defiled food, eating blood still. Pay attention. Chopping the mar that bone, eating the marrow of the bone, eating the blood, eating the, the flesh, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the flesh parts of Egypt. If you don't overcome them, you're going to die here. Pay attention. Here we are. just say, break the bread, drink the wine. You are going to die here if you don't understand. Pay attention. That we say, none of the wicked shall understand. But the wise shall understand. The wisdom, they're going to understand. And they're going to follow him. Do what I command you to do. Pay attention. Because Satan has autonomy. Ephesians 2, 1 to 2. Ephesians 2 and 1. And you had he quickened who brought the spiritual consciousness awareness who were dead in trespasses and sins under the power of autonomy of Satan. Pay attention. Wherein in time past you walk according to the course of this world. This world caused Satan has dominion. He's accusing not Joshua to the Lord. He, he, he comes to the, accusing the sons of God who repent, overcome the sin in the book of Job 1 and 6. He come among them to deceive them or resist them. He's the accuser of the brethren. Pay attention. He has full autonomy in this earth. Is given into his hand to punish evildoers. Pay attention. Where in time past you walk according to the course of this world, Satan dominion of the earth or hell, according to the prince of the power of the air, the children of God, the children of Israel, the Israelites, you are in hell. This is your hell. This is your tribulation period. This is your, the time of Jacob's trouble, the land of your captivity. Pay attention. Where your God has given Satan and his fallen angels and his children power over you or dominion over you. Pay attention. According to what? The prince of the power of the air, Satan, the spirit that now worketh in the churn of disobedience. He is the what? The ruler or the prince of the churn of disobedience, the churn of sin. Pay attention. The Yahushua said, The tears are the churn of the wicked one, and the enemy that sold them is the devil. They are the churn of Satan. Pay attention. Or the, ch the churn of disobedience. That under the prince of the power of the air, that under the auspices or the rulership of their father, Satan, that he laid, he laid churn on the earth. Pay attention. Among whom also we all had our conversation in time past. Paul said we were just there, yeah, caught under him in the lusts of the flesh. L feeding the lusts of the flesh, you under the power of Satan. Pay attention. Fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind. Fulfilling your fleshly desires. Pay attention. Your sensual aspects, you are under the power of Satan and the churn of disobedience. Paul said we were all there. Pay attention. And were by nature or naturally the churn of wrath, even as others, the churn of disobedience or the churn of Satan, living like them, doing the things of them, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and the mind. Pay attention, the sensual aspect. You are under the power of Satan. 
you, you say fulfill any what? Your lust or your flesh. Pay attention. But you are what? Dead in trespasses and sins. Spiritually dead when you're fulfilling the desires of the lust and the flesh. The desires of the flesh and the lust of the flesh. You're spiritually dead. Under the power of the prince of the prince of the of the air. And the children of disobedience. Satan and his children. You're living like them under them, their dominion. They have power over you. Matthew 12 and verse 24. Because Satan is what? The anointed cherub. Matthew 12 and 24. But when the Pharisees heard it, they said, This fellow did not cast out devils, but by Beelzebub, the prince of the devils. Be Beelzebub is who? The prince of the devils, or the prince of the power of the air. Pay attention. Who is this? Jump to um, verse 28. Verse 26. Seven. Well, sorry, verse 26. And if Satan casts out Satan, he is divided against himself. How then shall his kingdom stand? Could Yahushua say what? So who is the prince of the power of the air? Or Beelzebub? Satan. Yahushua says it's Satan. And if I by Beelzebub or Satan cast out devils, by whom do your children cast them out? He's telling you Beelzebub is Satan. Satan is Beelzebub. is the prince of the power of the air. Pay attention. Or the prince of devils. Pay attention. One and the same. So once you're feeling the lust of the flesh and the desires of the flesh, you're under the prince of the power of the air or Beelzebub or the prince of the devils or Satan. You're under him. Who is he? Satan's origin. Pay attention to the anointed cherub, high level angel that tried to, to take the Mosai throne, assault the throne and the Mosai had to cut him off from the heavenly realm. Cut him off from God, good, and then continue his evil on earth. Pay attention. His dominion. Here. Yeah. Until he be destroyed. Take note of the way. Matthew 20 verse 25. And Yerusha called them unto him, saying, We know that the princes of the Gentiles exercise dominion over them. The what? The princes of the Gentiles, or the princes of devils, or the princes of, prince of the power of the air. Pay attention. Or Beelzebub, Satan of them, over them, over these Gentile nations. Pay attention. Exercise dominion over them. He has dominion over them because he's not low level. They are not low level. Satan has fallen angels over these hidden nations. Not low level. Principalities and powers and the rulers of the darkness of this world. Ephesians 6 and 12. Pay attention. High level demonic angels, fallen angels, wicked angels, wicked spirits. Revelation 16 and 13, 14. Because the princes of the Gentiles exercise dominion over them. Revelation 16, 13, 14. Revelation 16 and 13. And I saw three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon, and out of the mouth of the beast, and out of the mouth of the false prophets. For they are the spirits of devils, working miracles which go forth unto the kings of the earth and of the whole world. To gather them to the battle of that great day of God Almighty. The princes of the princes of the Gentiles, Satan fallen angels over these earthly rulers and kings. Satan's fallen angels. Pay attention, spirits of devils dominating them. First Corinthians 2 and read verse 6. Howbeit we speak wisdom among them that are perfect, yet not the wisdom of this world, nor of the princes of this world. The Paul say we are not speaking according to the princes of this world, the wisdom of this world. We are on the next level. The princes of this world, that's we say, I will confirm what? The wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. Pay attention, earthly men, princes of this world, Satan has fallen angels over these earthly rulers, which come to naught. But we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery, even the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the world unto our glory, which none of the princes of this world knew. Satan and his fallen angels over these earthly rulers. Are we talking princes of this world? They are Satan fallen angels. For had they known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. He said they would have never put me to death if they understood the mystery. That my blood was to redeem my brethren from under Satan's power. Pay attention. To save their soul from going on to the pit of torment or the lake of fire. Matthew 28, 18. Matthew 28, 18. And Yahushua came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given me in heaven and in earth. Now I have heard the dominion of heaven and the earth by me becoming the Lamb of God, that take away the sin of the world. He said, had they known it, they would have never crucified the Lord of glory. They would have never killed me. Because why? The demonic forces didn't understand the power of God. Yahushua said, they're my creation. I created them all. I made it all, Yahushua said. Pay attention. You see what? Now, by they putting me to death on the cross, I have power on the earth. I take back the earth from Satan now. Pay attention. I took back the dominion from him. So who is he and what is his origin? He had next level power. Pay attention, you still have next level power of evil if you don't keep the laws. You still have dominion over you. Until Yahushua come and destroy him, pay attention. 
all powers given me in heaven and in the earth. That we say, in the earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Keep the laws. That's the baptism. Keep them to teach them to keep the laws. That's what they're going to be baptized, not dipping water. Pay attention. Teaching them what? To observe or do all things whatsoever I have commanded you. What did I command them? Laws, statutes, commandments, testimonies, precepts, ordinances. Go and tell them, keep them laws. To escape the power of Satan. Pay attention to the power of the rulers of the darkness of this world. Don't dip nobody in no water. He said, they wish to send me not to baptize, but to preach the gospel. First Corinthians 1 and 17. Paul said, go and tell them, come and keep them laws. Psalms 2 and read verse 8. Psalms 2 and 8. Ask of me and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. All powers given me where? In heaven. And the most I say, yeah, you shall ask me when you're ready to go. And he went. And you see what? Now you have possession in the earth. I will give you power of the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession because Satan had it. Pay attention. Satan, Satan had total dominion. Yahushua came and died on the cross. From that point, he could come anytime and take it. Pay attention. That's why he has access now to wake us up or to pour his Holy Spirit into the earth now. Pay attention. Most I say, take it. You see, had they known it, they would have never killed me. They would have never put me to death. Pay attention. So that's the purpose of my blood on the cross. Pay attention to take him out. He signed his what? Death warrant. Because he's not low level angel. Proverbs 8. And verse. Proverbs 8 and 15. By me kings reign and princes decree justice. By me kings reign and princes decree justice. Yahushua said, By me kings reign and princes on this earth decree justice. I am the one that ruling this earth. I created them all and I give them power. I give Satan power here. Pay attention. I love them that love me and those that seek me early shall find me. I love who love me, who keep my commandments. 36, but he that sinned against me wrong at his own soul. All they that hate me love death. I'm going to put you to death if you don't keep my commandments. If you don't follow me, you will perish. Pay attention. I'll be telling you. He was not begging nobody to repent when he come here. He said, repent or you're going to die. Except you repent, you're going to perish. Because if you don't follow me, you don't love me and you hate me. Who is this? Is it Yahushua? Read 22. The Lord possessed me in the beginning of his way, before his works of old. I was set up from everlasting and from the beginning, or ever the earth was, as Yahushua was talking here. In the whole of Proverbs 8. Pay attention. I got by me, kings reign and princes decree justice. So who I, I authorize everything on this earth. Pay attention. So who have Satan ruling this earth? Pay attention. They're all the creation. He created all things. Pay attention. The origin of Satan. Pay attention. Who created him? Acts 3 and verse 4. Acts 3 and verse 13 to 15. The God of Abraham and of Isaac and of Jacob, the God of our fathers, had glorified his son Yahushua, whom he delivered up and denied him in the presence of Pilate. When he was determined to let him go, Pilate said, I find no fault in this man, let him go. But he denied the Holy One. The, the, his brethren said, What? Kill him, crucify him, kill him. Pay attention. His brethren, the, the Jews and their followers, pay attention. The Pharisees, the rulers, the nobles, the aristocrats, the scribes, they say, kill him. But he denied the Holy One and the just, his own bloodline, and desired a murderer to be granted unto you, the one Barabbas, and kill the prince of life. He is the what? This prince spelled with the uppercase P. Yahushua is the prince of life. So Satan is what? The prince of death, or the prince of the power of the air, or the, prin the principality and the power of the rulers of the darkness of this earth. He's the prince of death. Pay attention. The origin of Satan, he's not low level. Yeah, which is the Prince of Light. He's the Prince of Death. The Prince of Death or Darkness or Abomination. Acts 5, 29 to 31. He's the Prince of Life. Prince of Life. Acts 5, 29 to 31. Then Peter and other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than men. The God of our fathers raised up Yahushua, whom ye slew and hanged on a tree, because it was forbidden near Peter and them to preach the, 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 the kingdom of heaven. But they say we will obey God rather than you. These Pharisees, wicked Pharisees, pay attention. They say, you, the God of our fathers raised up Yahushua, his son, whom ye, you, you fellow Jews, the Pharisees and scribes and Sadducees and elders and, and many of Israel, put him to death, pay attention. Crucify him, crucify him, they kill him, pay attention. Whom ye slew and hanged on a tree, him, Yahushua, had God exalted with his right hand, to be a prince, uppercase P, R-I-N-C, lowercase R-I-N-C, and a savior 
for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. Because he's the prince of life and the prince of death and his deterrent put, put him to death. Pay attention. You see, had they known it, the mystery, they would have never kill him. And when they heard that, they were cut to the heart and took counsel to slay them. They wanted to kill them just as they kill Yahushua. So Acts 49. So Acts 49, read verse 1 to 4. The remembrance of Josiah is like the composition of the perfume that is made by the art of the apothecary. It is sweet as honey in all mouths, in all mouths, and as music at a banquet of wine. So Josiah kept the law. He behaved himself uprightly in the conversion of the people and took away the abomination of iniquity. He was, he was casting out all, all um, wicked doers and all evil doers. He directed his heart unto the Lord, and in the time of the ungodly, he established the worship of God. He was about the law. All except David, King David, and Ezekiah, Hezekiah, and Josiah were defective. All the kings or rulers over Israel that were set up on this earth was what? Defective or evil. Pay attention, except King David, Hezekiah, and Josiah, the three righteous kings. The rest were wicked as hell. Pay attention, they were all what? Defective. They were Satan had what? Taking possession of them and overpowered them. Pay attention, what power does he have? What is his origin? Pay attention. They were, king, they were kings of Israel, well, but they were all what? Defective or in sin. But taken over or deceived. Leviticus 26, read 15 to 17. And if you shall despise my statutes, or if your soul abhor my judgments, so that you will not do all my commandments, but that you break my covenant, I will also do this unto you. The most I say, if you don't keep my laws, I will do something to you. I will also do this unto you. I will even appoint over you terror, consumption, and a burning egg. I will appoint what? Terror over you. And I will set my face against you, and you shall be slain before your enemies, and they that hate you shall reign over you. Satan and his fallen angels will terrorize you. I'm going to give him dominion over each one of Israel, over each one of God. If you break the covenant, if you refuse to keep my laws, that's what happened to us. Pay attention. That how we end up here? For violation. For violating the most of God's laws. He appointed Satan over us. Terror. Romans chapter 16, verse 19. Romans 16 and 19. For your obedience has come abroad unto all men. I am glad therefore on your behalf. But yet I will have you wise unto that which is good, the law, and simple concerning evil. Pay attention. So reject evil and be wise unto the law, which is good. And the God of peace shall bruise Satan under your, under your feet shortly. Stipulation, if you're wise to the good, the keeping the commandments, and simple, to con simple concerning evil, dismiss evil, stop violating, stop sinning, the God of peace shall bruise Satan under your feet shortly. The most I come to smash him from oppressing you. So if, you, if you're wise to do evil, he's going to leave him to oppress you. Because he appoints terror over us. He appoints him over us to terrorize us for violating his law. Pay attention. But you have to be wise to do what is good. Keep the law. And simple concerning evil. Forget evil. Shun evil. Then I will come and bruise him. Pay attention. Then I will come and take him out. So who is he? He has major power. Because he's doing his job. Proverbs 16 and 4. Proverbs 16 and 4. Proverbs 16 verse 4. The Lord had made all things for himself, yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. I appointed terror or Satan to terrorize you for the day of evil. He's carrying out the function of the Mosai, the evil aspect of the Mosai, the wrath of the Mosai for disobedience. Isaiah 45 verse 7. Why the most I say, if you shun evil, then I will come and bruise him from under your feet. Isaiah 45 and 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. Because I will appoint terror over you or the evil over you or Satan over you. Because I form him. Pay attention. Good and bad. Duality. Creation. Balance. Pay attention. If you obey me, good. Disobey me. Evil. Or terror. Or Satan over you. Satan dominion over you. Because I created him also. Pay attention. I create good and I create evil. Good angels, evil angels. Reward law keepers, punish evil doers. Colossians 1 and read 12. I read in 12 down. Giving thanks unto the Father, which had made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light, who had delivered us from the power of darkness. From the what? The power of darkness or the rulers of the darkness of this world. Ephesians 6 and 12. Pay attention. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, 
but against what? Principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places, the power of darkness. Who had delivered us? Colossians 1 and 13. Who had delivered us from the power of darkness? The rulers of the darkness of this world, or the power of darkness, pay attention, evil angels, and had translated us into the kingdom of his dear son, in the kingdom of Yahushua, in whom we have redemption through his blood. But had they known it, they would have never killed Yahushua. Pay attention. That's why he has what? Redeemed us unto a brethren out of, by, by his blood, out of every kindred and nation and tongue and people. That was the angels are saying in Revelation 5 and 9. For thou hast slain, thou hast slain, and has redeemed us to God by thy blood, dying on the cross, out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation. The angels and the twenty-four, the twenty-four elders and the four beasts were praising the Most High, saying, "What you redeemed us by thy blood." Back to Colossians one and fourteen. In whom we have redemption through His blood, even the forgiveness of sins. Who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature? For by him, Yahushua, were all things created. He created everything, good and evil. Pay attention. He is the creator. John 1. Am I making this up? Go to John chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning was the word, Yahushua, and the word was with God, son with father, and the word was God. On one accord, pay attention. The same one is in the beginning with God, son with the father. All things were made by him. Yahushua made what? All things. He was with the father. And without him was not anything made that was made. He made all things, good and evil, life and death. In him was life, and the life was a lighter man. Pay attention. He was in the world, and the world was made by him. Verse 10, and the world knew him not. He came and walked among men, manifest among his brethren. Pay attention, and they knew him not. As First Timothy 2 and 16. The, the God was manifest among men. Pay attention, and they didn't know him. A teaching them, come out. So who is Satan? What power does he have? He's the anointed cherub that the Son of God had to manifest and come among us and say, okay, this is how to escape him. Because I give him power over you for evil. I appointed terror over you, Leviticus 26 and verse 17, 16. I will appoint over you terror. I appointed him over you. So this is how you escape him. You're not escaping, escaping him. No other way. Follow me. Pay attention. Because I created him. He is my creation. Satan's origin the creation of Yahushua HaMashiach. Pay attention. He created good and evil forces. Pay attention. Back to Colossians 1 and 16. For by him were all things created that are in heaven and in the earth. I create them all. Pay attention. Visible and invisible. Men, tangible things and invisible. The angels that they cannot see. Pay attention. The spirits that they cannot see. Whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, high, all levels of angels going up. Yahushua created them all. Pay attention. All things were created by him and for him. And he is before all things and by him all things consist. And he is the head of the body of the church. He is the beginning of the firstborn from the dead. Yahushua, the, God, the beginning of the what? Firstborn from the dead. And in all things he might have the preeminence. For it pleased the Father, the Mosai, that in him, Yahushua, should all the fullness dwell. Pay attention now the Father gave him power to create all the things, everything. And having made peace through the blood of his cross, by him to reconcile all things unto himself, by him I say, whether they be in earth or things in heaven, Yahushua created everything. Everything created by him. That's a mystery that been hid from the foundation of the world. Pay attention. None of the princes of this world knew. Satan's origin, created by Yahushua Mashiach. He said, follow me to escape him. 1 Timothy 3 and 16. And without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifest in the flesh. Yahushua came and what? Born, it behooved him to be born like his brethren. Justified in the spirit, born of Joseph, laid with Mary, of the fruit of the loins of David. Born in the flesh, justified in the spirit, came down and born a little lower than angels like Adam's holy seed, like, like his brethren here on the earth, justified in the spirit, seen of angels, preached unto the Gentiles. Who is the Gentiles? He went to what? He said, go and preach to the seven churches, the Israelites scattered in the, in the diaspora. He's teaching who? In Galilee, going from city to city, in synagogue to synagogue, among the Gentiles, northern kingdom, the northern ten tribes. He was going between them, preached unto them. These are the Gentiles, believed on in the world, 
received up into glory, died on the cross, and went back, back to his God, Yahushua Mashiach. He's the one that came down. Pay attention. Because I make, this is my creation. How will, how will you destroy the, the works of the devil? I had to come and show you. This is how. Follow me. Galatians 4 and 3 to 5. Even so, when we were children, we were in bondage under the elements of the world. Paul said when we were unlearned in the midst of sin, we were unlearned, we didn't know the law, we were in bondage under the elements of the, of the world, or sin, or the power of Satan. Pay attention. But when the fullness of the time was come, God sent forth His Son, made of a woman made under the law, made of who? Mary, to redeem them that were under the law. He came for who? The children of Israel, ancient Israelites that were given the law, the people, same people that came out of Egypt. Nothing changed. The same children of God. To redeem them that were under the law, under animal sacrifice, pay attention, that He come and give grace and faith. Same thing, same people. To redeem them that were under the law, that we might receive the adoption of sons. We are the sons of God, Adam, Holy Seed, children of God. Pay attention, that manifests through Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, unto this day. That's who we are. Pay attention there. We shall come and say, follow me. Follow me. Ezekiel 28, and read verse 13. Thou hast been in Eden, the garden of God. Every precious stone was like covering the saddest topaz and the diamond, the beryl, the onyx, the jasper, the sapphire, the emerald. Satan was in his royal glitz and glamour in the garden. Pay attention. Until what? Iniquity was formed in him. Pay attention. He was what? The workmanship of thy tablets and thy pipes was prepared in the, in the day that thou was created. He was the chief musician. Thou art the anointed cherub. He's the what? Anointed cherub over these angels, the inner circle of, of God, these four beasts that guard in the throne. The anointed cherubs. Pay attention. He was head over them. Thou art the anointed cherub that covered. That was Ezekiel 10 explained. These cherubs is what? The four beasts. That's how the four faces. Ezekiel 1. Ezekiel 1 and verse 10. As for the likeness of their faces, they four had the face of a man and the face of a lion on the right side, and they four had the face of an ox on the left side, and they four had the face of an eagle. So they had the face of a lion, a man, a ox, and an eagle. A lion, a man, a ox, and an eagle. Go to Revelation 4 and verse Revelation 4 and verse 7. And the first beast was like a lion, and the second beast like a calf, an ox, and the third beast had the face of a man, and the fourth beast had was like a flying eagle. Pay attention, like what? A lion, a calf or ox, a man and an eagle. The same four beasts. They're talking about that's what you saw when, when with the throne of the most high when he came, Ezekiel saw in the vision. So this who? These same beasts are guarding the throne. These are their what? Anointed cherubs. See, these are the cherubs. Pay attention. The what? Four, the four beasts of the cherubs. And Satan was what? Anointed over them. Pay attention. He was closer to the Mosai. Pay attention. And to the Mosai. That's why you could go to the Mosai and talk to him. Joshua do this. Joshua do that. Satan, where you come from? That's why he had power to, 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 the, to, to access the throne of the Mosai. To access the presence of the Mosai. Pay attention. But he lost his power to dwell in heaven. The Mosai take that away from him. Cast him out. But he had the power of evil. So he's still answering who? Answering to who? The Mosai. And they will cast him into the bottomless pit from angels, destined to what? To be tormented or destroyed. He's the only one who can take him out. Revelation 20 and verse 1. Revelation 20 and verse 1. And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit, and a great chain in his hand. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil, and Satan, and bound him a thousand years. So Yahushua came and what? Lock him away in the bottomless pit. Because he had the key of the bottomless pit. Revelation 1 and verse 18. Who is it that have the key of the bottomless pit? I am he that liveth, Yahushua, and was dead. And I behold, I am alive forevermore. They, I came on the earth, and they crucified me, named me to the cross, and I am alive forevermore. I resurrected back as a God. Amen. And have the keys of hell and of death, of the bottomless pit. I have the keys of what? Hell and death, the bottomless pit. Back to Revelation 20 and verse 2. And he laid hold. And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit, and a great chain in his hand. Yeah, Yahushua. And he laid hold on the dragon, the old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years. He have the power to bound Satan, the only one. Pay attention. And he laid hold on him, the dragon, because I created him and I know what I created. Pay attention. So none of you have power over him and this earth. 
You know, I am the one creating him. I know what I created. So I have to come down and manifest. God manifests himself on earth. First Timothy 2 16. And walk among you and tell you, this is how you escape. Follow me. Follow my instructions. Otherwise, he's going to destroy your soul. You cannot overcome him. Overcome him. I put you under the power of Satan for violation, for sin. This is how you overcome him. Follow me. Do what I command you to do. Pay attention. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil, and Satan, and bound him a thousand years. So I locked him away for a thousand years, and cast him into the bottomless pit, and shut him up, and set a seal upon him, that he should deceive the nations no more, till the thousand years shall be fulfilled, and after that he must be loose a season. So this thousand years, who ruled with Yahushua? And I saw thrones, and they that sat upon him, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahushua. The what? The martyrs. The martyrs and the what? The ones who have fulfilled all the, the Joshua who went up, the Elijah who went up, the Enoch who went up, pay attention and went up alive. These what they rule with Yahushua in the heavenly realm. They ruling up because they gone up already. Pay attention. They rule they rule for a thousand years and then after that, what happened? Satan was loosed on the earth. So he's what? On the earth. These ones, Satan is here on the earth, we can help. Pay attention, he have dominion on the earth. That thousand years was passed and he was loose on the earth. I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahushua and for the will of God, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands, and they lived and reigned in Mashiach a thousand years. So these men never get polluted, they never went into sin, they never worshipped Satan, they kept the Lord, they go, them reigned with Yahushua a thousand years. And what? Satan was loosed on the earth. So that happened already, he's loosed on the earth. Doing what? Hell on the earth and death. But the rest of the dead, the rest of the saints, or the rest of the saints, or the children of God, the Holy Seed, are here on this earth under the power of Satan. Have to what? Overcome. This is our time. These ones already go on a long time. Pay attention. That time already happened. We are in the, under the power of Satan now because he loose on the earth. Pay attention. This is the rest that to go to the seed of the kingdom. But the rest of the dead, dead in what? Trespasses and sins, or spiritually dead. Live not again. We are going to what? Live not again. Because I I came in hell and tell you, this is how we're going to live again. Follow me, or keep my commandments and live. Acts 3.23, and every soul which will not hear that prophet shall be destroyed from among the people. That will, that will read the most I say. When I send you Hushua, Acts 3 and 20 to 23, if you don't listen to him, you will be destroyed. But the rest of the dead, live not again. The ones who obey him will live again. Will be what? They're going to meet their brethren. Pay attention. They're going to be what? Redeemed from in the earth under the power of Satan. The rest of the dead live not again until the thousand years were finished. Be because why? We are under that, that time now. Satan is on the earth. We, check, we can help. So we are what? Here to overcome. This is the first resurrection. When the what? That thousand years. That was the first resurrection. They're gone already. They, they're gone and reign already. And not we have to get. This is the second resurrection for us. We have to overcome now to get part of that second resurrection. When is it going to come? A judgment day. Pay attention. Blessed and holy is he that had part in the first resurrection. They will never defile. They're gone. On such, the second death had no power. They're gone. They cannot die again. There's no judgment for them at when, you, when the Mosai return to judge. They're already gone. They're reigning in heaven with the Mosai. Blessed and holy is he that had part in the first resurrection. They're gone and they reign in a thousand years. On such, the second death had no power. But they shall be priests of God and of Mashiach and shall reign with him a thousand years. They are already gone, reigning, because they will never defile. And when the thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison. He was what? Loosed. He is on the earth. Pay attention, this happened in a long time. He is loosed out of his what? Prison. Out of his what? Prison. P-R-I-S-O-N. Where is this prison? Go up to verse 1, Revelation 20 and 1. And I saw an angel come down from heaven having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him. What? Imprisoned him a thousand years. Pay attention and cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up. Where? In his prison. And set a seal upon him. Lock that prison that he should deceive the nations no more. Pay attention till the thousand years were passed. And he was what? Loosed from prison on the earth, back on earth, and have dominion on the earth. From his bottomless pit of the lake of fire. That's where his destiny, destiny was. Satan's origin and his final destination. Back into the bottomless pit. Pay attention. That's why the, the, the Yahushua was manifested on earth. To show you how to escape him. Because I'm about to destroy him and lock him away. And I'm killing everything on this earth. Pay attention. 
And when the thousand years expire, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison. So he's roaming free on the earth. That's why he could go to the presence of the Most High and accuse us. Pay attention. He's roaming free on the earth to deceive all behind, to take them out. Pay attention. I pray you get some understanding from today's class as to where Satan came about, where he came from, where he came about into existence. Good, and I create good, I create evil. Isaiah 45 and 7, Yahushua said, I create good and evil. I created him. Balance duality to do the most high wickedness of, for, against all who don't obey him. I will appoint terror over you. He's the anointed terror that was in the garden of God. Held over the terror, these four beasts for the inner guards of the most high, under the throne of the most high. Pay attention, and Yahushua Mashiach. Pay attention and pre-get some understanding from today's class. Shalom.